I look like a politician at a baseball game. <laughs> After nine months? It doesn't expire, it just gets less potent, right? Make brownies? I fucking hate edibles. I don't know why anyone likes them. That's so long. I'm right here. You don't have to like subtweet me. Sorry, I thought I was in my head talking about it. How's yeah, everyone doing? It's a good day for justice. Hi, hey, Jordan. Hello. I like your hand. I just Thank you hat. so much. It's a uh, my memorial to Diaz. Talking about Deputy Diaz? Yeah. Oh. How come you uh? How come you weren't at his funeral? What do you mean? I was. You were? Yeah. Oh. I was probably standing on uh, your left side. I had I had two eyes then. Mm. I was gonna get a uh I was gonna get a shirt done at the fair. But they were all out. <laughs> I always forget what they're called. I think uh, that what is it? I mean it, it looks like um something <laughs> you'd see in like the uh Blair Witch Project. What? Like the, uh, it looks like sigils or something on your head. Hey, are y'all coming inside for this court case or what? What the hell? Good luck, Jordan. Oh, shit. Hey, there's a court case. Okada, you're not coming in? No, I'm not doing this. All right, I'm sorry. I, I right. thought, I, I didn't think you were coming for this. No, I haven't read nothing on the docket at all. Oh, okay. What the hell? All right, well, I'm sorry. I was, I was told that you weren't oh, coming. You got your it. tactical nuke button on there? Yeah, well, I... I think that was understood when I told everyone that I wasn't going to be around because of everything that was going on. All right, well, uh, you know, hopefully I think they're more capable from what I've seen. Okay. Yeah, this guy seems good. I don't know what happened with Brown, but I, you got that to inform me later. I'll come to the city tomorrow and talk to you. Well, I'll be in prison. <laughs> oh, I've already heard. Okay. <laughs> Live, please watch me. Beagle. What's this guy playing? <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Actually. From who? <laughs> the dead man. 20 the bucks dead? to go inside. The dead man said no. Oh, hey, it's hard times because of the DOJ. We need to make money. What about it? $20. <laughs> Alright, $100. <laughs> the friends and family discount. Info bad kid. Oh, Ooh, did, okay. Stop, that's fucking no, mean. I'm sorry, you get in for free. That's fucking mean. Stop. <laughs> Come on, guys. Aww. I'm not. The DOJ's got hard times. We're paying yeah, entrance they're... fees, pay per view. <clears throat> True. This court is being uh, recorded, actually. Oh, uh, all right. Great. Yeah, Me at age 13? I don't, I don't think I, I, yeah, don't I, don't, think I, I would really have played Fortnite. All right. But I don't know. I did play WoW, which, you know. I think that's all of our witnesses. Mr. Uh, Steele, you're going to want to take your hat off. This is a Diaz memorial. I can if you want, but. Uh, the judge is going to order it. So if the judge orders it, just comply. Mm, that's so long. The way Maverick shot. It's covered. This channel 18 and older. Be. I don't believe so, Your Honor. I don't think that's a real thing. I think it, it's just... Yes, Your Honor. I mean, I haven't marked it as a mature Started channel. Yeah, what the fuck? I was just session. thinking that, actually. <laughs> don't make me hand that's it out, That's pretty fucked please. up, actually. I'm gonna uh, be honest. Paint a gallery, please. Paint a gallery. Please, we're getting called mid-session. Yeah, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, Your Honor? The... Someone was speaking. Well, perfect example. Court is in session. Please be quiet if you are viewing. Um, oh. Whisper or don't talk at all because the defense as well as prosecution will not be able to hear. Yeah, Millennium, you can set it. Things but that are going on in the courtroom. No outbursts, uh, no foul language, anything like that. That being said, I'm going to read the statement of charges. Um, on February 21st, Boba Stone was last seen alive with Jordan Steele. Not even 20 minutes later uh, of this last sighting of a living Mr. Boba Stone. He was found dead in a parking lot from a stab wound. Great. 
Jordan <laughs> Steele is hereby accused of the criminal charge of murder based on the evidence submitted in this filing. Mr. Steele. Uh, yes, Your Honor. The indictment. Murder of a government employee. How do you see? Not guilty. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's good. I was hoping you'd say that. Um, today we have District Attorney's Office here. Good start, Mr. Right? Bunbury, Mr. Splainer. <laughs> Hands on defense. I'm not sure of your names. What, what's your uh, names, defense counsel? Uh, Benjamin Crane for the defendant, Your Honor. Hmm. Mr. Crane and... And Nick Grayson. Mr. Grayson. Legal team! All right, let's start with uh, opening prosecution. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Oh, fuck it, Splainer. Your Honor, people of the court... You're ready to fall asleep. <laughs> He's an eight city months, of Los so I lost a beloved member of its community. A friend. A brother. A man so empathetic and kind in his ways that he would put himself in harm's way to save others as an emergency medical technician Ugh. in a city plagued by violence and crime. On February 21st, Boba Stone was taken from us in one of the worst ways imaginable, through a stab wound to the neck. According to the autopsy report, Boba Stone did not die from an That's immediately actually probably fatal fast. wound to the artery. No. He instead drowned in his Isn't own Isn't your blood, neck like full of arteries? Suffocating to death. <laughs> Your Honor, the people wish to bring this atrocity, this crime, to justice. <laughs> and I, as the district attorney, and Ernest Bunbury II as my assistant, will do everything in Two? our power yeah, to but they're uphold huge, right? justice, to remove a murderer from the streets of Los Santos, to ensure that people like Jordan Steele never take another brilliant and kind man like Boba Stone away from us. Thank you. Ugh, yawn. Yawn, am I right? That's <laughs> boring. Nope. All right, I'll just walk that way. Let's go and make a murder seem boring. <laughs> Your Honor, and may it please the court. Mm. Uh, my name is Benjamin Crane. That's I'm the attorney so who's been re requested to represent Mr. Steele in this case. Um, we all just had to listen to the state's summation, which, uh, although accurate, makes it sound as though this crime could have only been committed by a psychopath. As described, the victim herein was an icon of the city. What's more, he was also a friend of the defendant as well as a part-time employee of his. Mm. The state this evening is going to present nothing more than circumstantial evidence, which is a bit of a voodoo word in the law. Uh, it's not always bad. Oftentimes, cases can only be proved via circumstantial evidence. However, uh, I like to think of circle circumstantial evidence like a chain. If you're missing a link, it becomes completely and utterly worthless, or at the very least, two smaller chains. Uh, you will hear tonight that the state is missing perhaps a dozen links in the chains that they've brought with, brought to them, uh, brought with them. Damn, this guy brought today. metaphors? And further, a <laughs> chain is only as strong as its weakest link, and the state has very weak links in its chains. To name a few, uh, they will be unable to provide any link in the chain that indicates a motive for the murder that's been committed. They have no link in the chain showing that the defendant and victim were still together at the time of the incident. Uh, and they will have no link in the chain showing that the defendant had the means, the capacity, or even the exclusive opportunity to commit the crime that they posit he committed tonight. Oh, shit. Finally, you will hear tonight that the hey, police, uh, after Palmer. considering that they had found their primary suspect, all but ceased to investigate this crime. So, without wasting uh, no, further time, the defense... Uh, We'll, we'll uh, ask you at the end of this case whether the government has proven beyond a shadow of a reasonable doubt whether or not the defendant in fact murdered Boba Stone, his loved friend, and his uh, part-time employee. Thank you. The defense rests. <laughs> Bobby. Yeah. Okay. What does it Thank say? You. All right, shit, that was pretty good. What does it, what does it say on Jordan's hat? You make all your I think Wait. it says like uh, our first yeah, witness people today. Yeah, like people like metaphors and things like this. What? Like Mexican Seven? I don't know. I can't read. <laughs> Mexican Seven. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know. It's about Diaz. Oh. I oh. never went to Diaz's funeral, so I don't know. They were best friends, though. Sad. Yeah, sad. Please go ahead and raise your left hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, under penalties really of perjury? Boring. No, he, uh, our guy has metaphors. Yes, I do. People like metaphors. When it says Miss Warren in your own. Metaphors are good. Thank you. I'm getting any questioning. Why is she wearing body Jesus armor? Christ, is that a Thank you for being Russian. here this evening, uh, Brooks. Oh. Just uh, have some questions that, of course, I would like to ask you. 
on February 21st, 2020, this year, Who the when fuck did is you this last guy? see Medic Bobastone? Uh, I saw him leaving the Integrity Apartments last. Okay, could you tell us what he was wearing? Uh, we called it his parking stripper outfit. He would always wear it. It was kind of like the, uh... The, the little safety oh, I miss vest Bobo. thingy. And then God the damn. really short shorts that were... Why do you have to die? Colorful. No top underneath. He, Let me see uh, if I can turn up the would wear it when for you guys. Going. Okay. Is there any other significance to this uh, outfit that he would wear? That should probably help a little bit. Uh, he usually wore it uh, back in the day when he goes going with Jordan and Hayden. Okay. What was Bobastone doing when you last saw him? He was hopping into a white truck with Jordan. Okay. Did you speak with Bobastone? Yes, I did earlier. He told me he was going to go spend time with Jordan. All right. That was it. Anything else that he told you? Nope, just that he was going to go spend time with Jordan. All right. And when exactly did Boba leave? Sure. Uh, he told me he was spending time with Jordan, and then he got into the truck, and then he left. Do you know where they went? Uh, they headed down towards Garage T, and then they turned right onto, uh, what's that street? I think it's San Andreas Avenue, and mm -hmm. then I couldn't see them anymore. Okay. And uh, when was it that you learned of Mr. Stone's demise? Turn the window. Uh, not even yeah. 20 minutes later. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I believe that's all we have uh, for uh, Pinnacle, on our side. Please. All right. Don't let me catch you talking back there. People need to hear what's going on up here. Uh, let me cross. All right. Uh, Miss Brooks, if I ask any questions that uh, you don't understand, can you and I have an agreement that you will uh, just tell me as much so that I can get them rephrased for you? Of course. Turn the one down. All right, yep. let me take out my notepad here. All right. So the last time that you saw Mr. Stone was when he was leaving the Integrity Apartments. That's the one that's just directly south of Pillbox Medical Hospital, right? All right, and he was wearing this uh, parking stripper uniform. Uh, you say there he you always go. wore True. that when he would go to towing yeah. with Jordan. Is that correct? Correct. Uh, how often would he go towing with uh, with the defendant here? Uh, recently, they didn't, to my knowledge. I never saw him wearing it. He was mostly on duty, but he used to a lot. Used to it. Was that uh, prior to him getting a job at the uh, at pillbox, or? Uh, it was prior to Jordan getting a job as a. Uh, uh, back uh, okay, so uh, once uh, once Jordan got a job as a cop, he uh, they didn't spend quite as much time together. Correct. Okay, but uh, since Mister Steele had found himself with a bit more free time, uh, had they gone towing any other times recently? Uh, to get together, to the best of your knowledge. I am unsure. That was the only time Boba and I worked different shifts, so we didn't see each other a whole lot. I understand. And this last time that you saw Mr. Stone, uh, what what was his general demeanor regarding going? You said he was going to go hang out with uh, Jordan, go towing with him. What was his general demeanor? Oh, God, him? I'm going to fall asleep. Uh, he seemed pretty happy. Seemed pretty happy, pretty carefree. Uh did he, did he seem to be in any kind of upset mood or arguing with Mr. Steele or anything like that when you saw him get into the vehicle? No, he just told me he was going to go spend time with him and he left. That was it. He didn't, he didn't seem sad or anything. He seemed pretty happy. <laughs> All right. And at this time you saw him get into Mr. Steele's vehicle, did you, uh, did, did you speak with Mr. Steele at all or did you just see him get in and leave? I just saw him get in and leave. Okay. So you didn't get, you didn't catch any demeanor from Mr. Steele in that interaction then? I don't know if I'm going to make it to midnight, no, guys. I'm fucking tired. Okay. Uh, would it be fair to say that at the best of your knowledge, uh, the victim and the defendant herein were on relatively friendly terms then? Mm -hmm. They're Ruffy, going to I already drank a half a bar. Uh, anything like that? To my knowledge, they were. Well, you have to. <laughs> All right. And you saw them head down towards Garage T and turn right. Then you completely lost sight of them, right? Correct. Did you hear from uh, Mr. Steele at any point after that? No. No, I did not. Okay. 
And just to clarify, uh, you said it was not even 20 minutes later. Uh, can you give me an exact or an approximate time that you saw Mr. Uh, Stone being picked up by Mr. Steele? Uh, I'd say... Wait, sorry. Um, when I said not even 20 minutes, it was to him being brought to the hospital? Yeah, that was the, the time difference between him being brought to the hospital and... Uh... Is that what you're asking, sorry? Well, I'm just asking generally, like, what what time of day, like, room. if you had to think with an Eastern brain, uh, what time of day would you say it was he was picked up? It, it was a while ago. I, I genuinely don't remember what time of day it was. Okay. Uh, do you remember if it was, well, no, that, rel that question's not particularly relevant. Uh, unless my co-counsel's got anything else, then I've got no further questions for the witness, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Co-counsel, do you have anything? You're whispering. Up. Do you have any questions for this witness? I can't hear this mother. He's yeah, making me yeah I can't hear this nope. guy at all. Oh, no, my apologies. No, Your Honor. Okay. Right, prosecution, would you like to redirect? Uh, no. Explain it. Okay. Alright. Uh, is this witness up for recall? Uh, uh, tomorrow, no, Your Honor. I don't think surgery we have else procedure. What? I mean, I guess technically it's surgery. They're cutting me open and putting something in me. Uh, Your Honor, the people call uh, Chief of EMS Sam McIntyre to the stand. All right, let's establish that Boba died. Huh. Go ahead and raise your left hand, Sam. Oh. <laughs> Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, <laughs> under penalties of perjury? So help you sin. So help me sin. <laughs> this witness has been sworn in, <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> Thank you, Bailiff. Prosecution, you may begin questioning. Thank you, Your Honor. Give me one second to prepare my notes. Alrighty, Miss McIntyre, how are you this evening? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. On February 21st, 2020, when did you last see EMS Boba Stone? Uh, just after he went off duty. Uh, what was he wearing? Uh, similar to what Chloe said, he was wearing very short shorts, his vest, uh, something that he used to wear a lot uh, when he was off duty. Okay, is uh, this outfit significant in any way? Um, I don't know his personal life quite as much uh, as Chloe does, so I, I couldn't attest to that. But I just know that he wore it off duty. Okay. Huh. Um, what was Boba Stone doing when you last saw him? Um, when I last saw him, he was getting into I'm surprised a the DA didn't even just... Why Hill. are they here? Uh, did you speak with, uh, Boba Stone before he got in the truck? Uh, <laughs> yes, I did. What did that conversation entail? He simply told me he was going 42, which means that he was going off duty. Oh my god! Okay. Uh, did Boba Stone leave with anyone? He left with Jordan. Okay, where did they go? They went down towards Garage T in that direction. I didn't see them turn in either direction, but they went in that way. Okay. Uh, when did you learn of Boba Stone's demise? About 10 to 15 minutes after they had left. Okay. Uh, I have no further questions for this witness. <gasps> nice. Defense, right. you may cross. Uh, I go. think this will be a brief one. All right. Uh, you said you're the co-chief of EMS, or are you the chief, uh, co -chief. Ms. McIntyre? Co-chief McIntyre. I just want to make sure I'm addressing you correctly. Chloe is the other co-chief. All right. Uh, how often did you work with uh, with Mr. Stone? Uh, quite often. I would say about twice a week. Help. Help, I can't move. Just, uh, okay, but you said that you weren't uh, weren't as familiar with his personal life. Uh, did you two just not have conversations about that sort of thing, or uh, strictly um, strictly a professional relationship? Yeah, we mostly saw each other at the workplace. Okay. Uh, were you able to ascertain any sort of demeanor from him whenever he was going to meet with uh, no, Mr. Steele? I'm here. Uh, I'm not During the care. brief conversation he had before he left. He sort of seemed like he was rushed, but he didn't seem like he was out of sorts or anything. All right, so it, it would be fair to say he didn't seem like he was in a bad mood necessarily, just uh, kind of wanted no. to get out of the door. 
Yeah, that's all. That that feeling that we all have when we just want to go home after a long day's work kind of thing. Sure. Okay. All right. Uh, so you, during your uh, time of employment with Mr. Stone, you never spoke to him about his relationship with Mr. Steele? Hold on. Mr. Smith, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me? Mr. Smith, what are, what are you, you doing? doing? I was just testing my camera equipment. Could you not test it in the courtroom unless you get permission from the judges to take pictures in it? He yeah, said he so was going to frame me outside. Uh, idiot. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Frame I, I a never nice took picture. Any... Yeah. I never took any pictures, Your Honor. I he just said he was going to frame me I of a murder outside. All right, let's put that away. Yes, sir. I apologize. <laughs> mm, that's so long. Uh, can you continue? <laughs> Conversation. Uh, all right. Uh, let <laughs> me see you. if I can pick up where I left off. Um... So uh, during your uh, course of employment with Mr. Stone, did he ever speak about his relationship with Mr. Steele uh, in any capacity? Um, no. Okay. So, and and you testified previously, you're not uh, familiar as to what mm. he was doing with his uh, quote-unquote parking stripper uniform, right? No, I have no idea why he wore it. Does it? Okay. Uh, at approximately what time would you say it was that Mr. Stone was picked up by Mr. Steele? Oh, you got a diff? It was sometime in the afternoon. I couldn't tell you exactly what time, though. Sometime in the uh, could you define afternoon for me? Uh, are we talking like two to three in the afternoon, four to five? I honestly couldn't specify. All I know is that it was pretty bright outside. All right, and if I were to uh, ask you to think with an, e an Eastern time zone brain, you wouldn't know uh, around what time that was, would you? No, it was so long ago I couldn't tell you. So, uh, but but you said it was ten to fifteen minutes. We we just heard from oh! Miss Brooks that it was about twenty minutes. Uh, oh! is, there, is there any reason for the difference in the time discrepancy oh! there, or do you think it's just because it's been a while? I believe she said no more than twenty. No more than twenty. Okay, means fair enough. Discrepancy. All right. Uh, no further questions for this witness, Your Honor. Direct. Uh, no, you're on it. All right, Ms. Mc, uh, McIntyre, you may step down. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. How many witnesses do we have? Prosecution. Go ahead and uh, call your next witness. Sure. Uh, uh, I believe our next five. witness will be uh, <laughs> medic Bree Matthews. What? How many and do you this guys is have? The interesting one. Next medic. Oh, uh, your former Bree attorneys Matthews. did not Apologies. list any. We don't have any witnesses. No, we're just going to be relying on uh, drilling the hell out of there. Uh... Let's uh, call my truck up to the stand. Go on left. Raise your left hand there, Bree. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under penalties of perjury, so help you ghost? Yeah. This alibi? How can I have when a fucking alibi? They never questioned me. Thank you. You may continue <laughs> questioning. Great. Thank you for being here, Miss Matthews. Uh, going to be running through with same sort of questions. Uh, when did you last see Bobby Stone alive? You testify or you're fucked? Um, no, when we chat. Were on duty. There's um, no fucking we're way. To be on duty together, but then. There's no uh, way, he chat. Ran out of the hospital there's actually no way I get convicted. Of, I can't. There's no so way, dude. And then, uh, got check. There's. It's just just not possible. Medic. Right. So you were on duty on February 21st of this year. Yeah. Great. What were your job duties at this time? Um, responding to calls, people getting injured, injured EMS kind of thing. Did you respond to any calls that might be noteworthy to this case on the 21st of February? I mean, yeah, I I responded. There was um, there was a call from a local that came in that said that there was um, a body at, <laughs> at this garage. I don't remember the name of the garage. And then I show up, and it's my ex-husband. Okay. Uh, would you mind telling us the location of where the garage was, roughly? If you don't remember the name. Um, I mean, let me, I can pull up on the GPS on my phone real quick. I don't remember the exact location from it. It was kind of hidden in between. Oh my God, the Chad. Building. I'm sorry, dude. Um, I'm so sorry. I, I could take us there. I'm sorry that I, I'm I streaming don't know, this. Like, the exact street location. That's Turn right. them up. It's, it's I can't. Hidden in an alleyway. That's okay. It won't be necessary today. Thank you, though. 
Um, and uh, could you tell us uh, again? You just gave us a brief. Uh, you guys think Edwin, right? What you found on the scene when you arrived? Um, yeah, and I, I got out of the ambulance, and I noticed the, um, the bright visor, um, on, on the ground, and Star I, and I it was uh, my ex-husband. Um, Edwin scales though. Star Seeker stops being good. I, I was trying to find the source of it, and and he had a large gash on his neck. Oh, um, she's great. I held, I held pressure as best as I could while my oh, partner. Oh, she's um, gonna cry. Alan was, was trying to um, see if he had a pulse and and get him hooked up on an IV, and there was just so much blood everywhere. It was it was kind of surreal. I've never seen that much before. I'm and sorry you fight. had to. I'm, I'm very sorry that you had to go through that. Did you notice anyone leaving the scene? No, oh, I didn't see anyone there besides me and my partner and, and Boba on the ground. Hey, how much blood was there when you ripped out his heart? Huh? Fuck you, Jordan Steele, you How much blood you was there then? Mr. Steele. Fuck you. Go out first, please. <laughs> Mr. Steele, you're going to be receiving contempt. I will let you know the time and fine later. Who cares? I'm fucking in prison anyways. Okay. Well, you're going to be in there for longer. <laughs> Are you okay, Miss Matthews? <laughs> hey, can I get a minute? I'm just. Mm -hmm. Yep, take your time. He and I were married <laughs> for so long. Emotions. And it was um, the reason I quit EMS. So I just give me a minute. Sure, please, Mr. Jordan, you're, Mr. Steele. You remember that thing that I said about uh, not seeming to badger the witnesses? Correct. Look, I'm sorry. I just okay. I thought it was okay. good. It looked. It seemed like it rattled her. All right. So you assess the victim. What was your assessment? There was a very, very faint pulse. Not um, bad. Not bad. He wasn't responsive, though, and, and, and the fact that, you know, he wasn't conscious or anything. Not bad. Um, we got him loaded up on the stretcher and, and put in the ambulance. And oh, damn. He's like, I didn't level. I'm good. <laughs> and after he Bitch. passed away, uh, <laughs> he was taken to the morgue. Were Fuck you, you present Milhouse. at the morgue during Boba Stone's viewing? Yes, I was the entire time. Was the defendant there? Yes, he was. What did the defendant do while at the morgue? Oh, oh my God! He was screaming and he was being irate and he was asking for We're my going Murlocs. body. We're going Murlocs, boys. And he was he was screaming. We're he going Murlocs. He wanted his body, and at one point he he carried it out down the hallway before PD made him drop it. Hey, my ex-husband's body. Why was he trying like to take your ex-husband's body, Matthews? Sorry, what was That's that? Why was he trying right. to kidnap this body? I don't know. I don't Hello? know. Hello? Excuse me, Mr. Sorry. Oh, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll let you guys do Probably that's why. Unless Splainer everything, unless Splainer has anything, I believe uh, we have no further questions. Uh, I have no questions. I'm sorry. All right. A lot of objections. Cross? I just lost a Yogg. No surprise. All right, uh, Miss Matthews, I'm going to tell you the same thing that I told Miss Brooks. Uh, if I ask any questions that you don't understand, just please ask me to rephrase them. I'm going to add the caveat that if I ask any questions that uh, you need to take a minute with, you don't then please also tell me like that. that. Okay. okay. We're going to have to talk about a couple of details I here, would. and I understand that this can be hard given the nature of the circumstances. But what do I know? But, uh, I'm just an undefeated lawyer, God. So you, uh, well, we'll just start at the top. Uh, you, you last saw Mr. Stone when he was, uh, supposed to be on duty. Is that correct? Yeah. And then he went off duty he Had his parking demigod got outfit on with his rainbow shoes that I was jealous of. And, uh, under what circumstances would, uh, Mr. Stone wear this parking demigod got outfit? Oh. Would only wear it if he was gonna go towing with Caden or, or Jordan uh, Steele, because I had a similar outfit. And sometimes we would do that together. It's the only okay. time I ever saw him wear that during the duration of our marriage and afterwards. So would it be uh, fair to say that uh, Boba and yourself both li both had a relatively friendly relationship with uh, Caden and Jordan Steele? Even um, better. No, I, I didn't really, no. Uh, what about the uh, decedent, Mr. Stone? 
Um, he was good friends with them, yeah. Did you exchange any words with uh, Boba before he uh, went to 1042 and was going to meet with Mr. Steel? I just asked what he was doing, and he's like, I'm just going to go tow some cars. Okay, just leave me here, I guess. I had the pack leader off the triple. It's like a brat pack. I might go beast. Felt a, felt a little abandoned. Might go menagerie. Moment, perhaps. Good beast. Good merlot. All right. So then you proceeded to uh, go on duty uh, after that. You said you were teamed up with another medic. What was their name? Um, Alan. Alan Beast. Uh, is that Alan or Helen? Okay. Okay. All right, dude. Alan what Beast, the okay. fuck? Uh, how long were you on duty okay. before you uh, received the call that you previously spoke about? Oh, my um, God. Maybe an hour. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, approximately an hour or so. Unreal. So you saw Mr. Uh, you, you saw Boba going, uh, going off duty. You saw him in his... Uh, parking demigod outfit saying he was going to go spend time with mr steel and then it was about about an hour before you uh oh, no i feel like if i don't oh. level i'm gonna fall behind i was on duty but we weren't partnered together he was i think he was in the rapid responder so he was going solo i don't i don't know how long house his beasts on four his body he just took 11. all right and now just it's not like i'm it's, weak uh, right now a little bit of time i suppose i just got that was crazy unlucky. all right so you uh, level hero power right? to the uh, case that you've already talked us about. Now I'm gonna I'm yeah, gonna that's pretty fucking strong down, actually. We'll huh? Through that, uh, whenever you arrived on scene, okay. uh, can you remember the specific details of the 911 call that led you to that scene? I, d I don't remember the specific call. It was just someone stumbled upon his body and and said that there was someone at the garage that needed medical. Move rat? Right no. All right. I, I don't want it to and die too fast because I want all the scene, tokens. Uh, but I mean, to unfortunately I, find Mr. I mean, Stone uh, with a yeah, this guy's strong blood, too. What the fuck? Hey, Everyone's so a, strong in this lobby. Massive gash in his throat. This is bleeding everywhere. Yeah. Dude, this is a strong lobby. Right. Holy shit! Once again, Ms. Matthews, what if you need to take a second man? to breathe, feel free to do so. Uh, but I do need <laughs> to clarify one. Thing. Imagine losing to Millhouse. The. Uh, uh, oh my god, I'm at nine? A conflict regarding the uh, the nature of his wound. When you say gash, can you can you describe that a little more clearly for me? Uh, what do you mean by a gash? It looked like someone sliced his throat. I've seen anything like that before. So in, uh, I suppose in medical terminology, you, you would probably call that a laceration, correct? That's wild. And it, it to, to the best of your recollection, this was not a puncture wound. Well, then, is that correct? Three gold? I don't believe so, but there is a lot of blood on scene. I, I could be mistaken. Um, mm. I believe the doctors would know more. It was just, you know, we found him and, and we wanted to get him out of I'm that bad? situation as soon as possible. I guess so, dude. Look at this shit. All right, yeah, I guess let me I ask a couple of questions that might help uh, clarify then. You said you were, you were applying pressure to the wound while you were... Uh, Oh, your compatriot, uh, Alan, they were they were uh, starting an IV, right? Yes. Uh, I suppose, is it part of your standard procedure to uh, apply any sort of bandages or uh, packing gauze to such wounds? Uh, yes, there was just, there was a lot of blood. I was trying to hold yes, pressure. Um... <laughs> Excuse me. Well, um, well, getting it prepped, but it was... Oh, I wouldn't. Right? Have you ever had like an out of body experience yeah. where you just kind of freeze and then you watch yourself perform? This guy's your third, dude. Without consciously thinking Dog, this guy's. This is how unlucky I'm getting. Like Look that, at how effortlessly know. I just beat this I guy. See so many calls per day of people getting shot and stabbed, <laughs> and it's just you kind of just go on autopilot oh, at a certain man. point. He's two. He's playing pogos. So you, uh, despite <laughs> the personal Pogos. nature of this call, then despite the fact that this was your ex-husband and uh, friend, you you went into that autopilot mode. Yeah. Just trying to save him. Fuck it, man. I'm just gonna level. All and right. Otherwise, you... I would have just freaked out and wouldn't have been good for anyone involved. All right. 
How much time would you say uh, elapsed between you arriving at the scene of this call and uh, arriving back at the hospital with Mr. Stone? Um, it was close to pillbox, so maybe <clears throat> we're on scene for maybe two minutes before realizing we had to get in there. Um, and so maybe another minute. Should I freeze for the seer or back? try to look for a triple? It was very quick. I feel like looking for a okay. triple might be a little better. And uh, again, this is going to be uh, a question you may not be able to answer if you don't remember. Just say so. But do you remember the time that that call came in? Give it a leader. Oh, yeah. I'll just take it now, huh? Yeah, you're right. Give it a leader. Take it I now. I don't. I remember I got on duty a little bit earlier than I normally do. Yeah. So maybe between... If this was an Sultan Eastern eight. thing, seven and, and nine. I'm trying to go Murlocs. Okay, so sometime during that uh, 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. window then. All right. Uh, jumping oh, ahead a little Pogos. bit in time. I, did, did you spend any time with the doctors <laughs> while they were treating him? Or uh, were you ushered out of the room at that time? No, I was ushered out of the room. I was in the hallway for most of it. I could hear what they were doing, but I, I, I couldn't see anything. I know. All right. Well, I'm not going to ask you questions about hearsay or things that uh, may or may not have happened. That was unlucky. Um, so let, let's go ahead and jump uh, ahead to the time uh, viewing at oh the morgue. Oh, my uh, God, You said that dude. Uh, the defendant uh, came in. Can, can you identify the defendant in the courtroom <laughs> for me? The stupid white hat. Oh, my God. There. I'd, I'd be careful insulting the hat. Apparently, it's... Uh, yeah, it's had some memorial for a fallen officer yeah. real good. Which one? <laughs> All right. Uh, Diaz is my understanding. Um, it's not really pertinent. Um, so you said that uh, he arrived on scene. Uh, what, could could you describe his general demeanor for me? I guess I should have leveled. He was freaking out. No, um, I need to get He was stronger. yelling at everyone. He was trying to um ask the doctor to take Boba's body. Um, he was. He was freaking out. He was upsetting everyone in there who was trying to pay their respects. Look at this, man. Would, uh... Look at this shit, dude. Uh, as a medical professional or as someone with personal knowledge of Mr. Steele, would you be able to say whether or not he was, uh... either suffering from some sort of psychological break or if he was, uh... You're buying more shit, you're not using hero power? Perhaps? Or did this just seem like another Tuesday for you? Yeah, but it, but, on a compound but nothing here scales well oh, without yeah. me hitting like a brawn or like like I I have to high roll. If I had like a kobold uh, or no, something, I'd agree, and I just down. use a hero power to scale. But with uh, but I'm trying to play murlocs, so uh, I need I, I, I need to like hit my was, triples uh, and, under the influence of any intoxicating um, substances. Actually, like hit what I need. Or if I'm being honest. Uh, sorry, I think I missed the Put beginning. Put away, man. Event. Important stuff happening um, in the trial. I said, I don't know. It just it seemed like typical Jordan Steele, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and as a follow-up to that, did he, uh... You, you're saying it seemed like typical Jordan Steele, so he didn't seem like he was, uh... any more psychologically impaired than normal? This, this was just a normal Tuesday? Normal oh my Tuesday. god, so many people died. Oh, yes. I'm playing AFK. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. I have to roll. I have to. I have All to, right. Uh, I have to hit Got a one last series right. of questions for you, Miss Matthews. You uh, you brought up something interesting earlier. You said that Mr. Stone was uh, pretty good friends with uh, Mr. Steele, but you weren't. Uh, can you elaborate on that for me? Objection. Relevance. It uh, goes some to the bias yeah. of the witness, Your Honor, and uh, the door was already opened earlier. Well, uh, repeat your question. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, overrule that. I heard it. Sure. Okay. Uh, Miss Matthews, I'll I'll just go ahead and repeat it for you. Can you uh, elaborate uh, by what you meant earlier when you said that you did not have a good relationship with Mr. Steele? Oh, I just I don't really know him that well. You know, I know him when I respond to PD requests or anything like that. I wouldn't say I disliked him. We just I didn't I'm know. Missing him. all the interjections, guys. I don't care about the score case. It's very boring. <laughs> but uh, as, as you off. previously testified, it's uh, 
Miss Mr. Stone was, uh, you said, good friends with him. Objection asked and answered. Uh, no rebuttal, your honors. Sustained. I think I'm going to die this AFK. All right. And one last, Damn, one she has last a question five then. This, uh, this parking demigod outfit, uh, what, what was the genesis of the name for that, if you don't mind me asking? Um, he was trying to model it after the... If I say anything, God. I'm just going to get contempt. So, whatever. I mean, well, I'm just going to stand there, right? So, uh, at least in some capacity, then, Jordan Steele was actually a model for Mr. Stone. That's right, Gundam. Objection. Counsel is testifying, and there's no question there. Oh, oh my God! Uh, no rebuttal, Your Honor. The no golden juggler, Miss Matthews. Oh, uh, I got pretty big stats. I mean, I'm kind of big though. Nah, dude, that jo golden like juggler is gonna fucking eat me up. Uh, I have no questions for uh, redirect, Your Honor. We're done. Yeah. All right, Miss Stone. Uh, or sorry, Miss Matthews. You may step down. Appreciate it. This guy got free. This guy got dude. This guy got gas coiler. <laughs> Fucking turn three. Uh, the prosecution would like to call Officer Lance Malton to the stand. Yeah, it happens. I I was getting mad unlucky in the uh, early game there. That was crazy. Malton, go ahead and raise your left hand for me. Yeah, you got this fucking shapeshifter. He took the whole shapeshifter truth, with his hero power and got a fucking gas coiler next turn. So help you, wild. Slasher. I do. Witness has been sworn in, Your Honor. I don't know why this case was accepted. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm surprised it was. Officer Malton, how are you this evening? Doing good, sir. Thank you. Okay, on February 21st, 2020, how yeah, did you, you learn of lucky. Boba Stone's demise? The RP? Uh, we were called to the hospital for reports of a <laughs> dead person. Okay. When you uh, <laughs> responded to this call, what did you find? Uh, Boba Stone was uh, murdered, basically. How much RP here? There's just uh, correction dead. I, we did, I didn't know it was a murder when I arrived. Uh, was the murder scene identified to you? It was. Did you investigate the murder scene? I did. Well, what did you find? Storyline of Boba's death. Uh, in a uh, kind of like parking uh, booth yeah, or attendant booth yeah. on the parking oh, God, lot there, man. we did find blood on scene. And that blood was later identified as belonging to Boba Stone. Okay. Uh, was an investigation opened into the, the murder of Boba Stone? Yes, sir. <laughs> Who was the officer in charge of that investigation? Uh, that would have been uh, myself and then uh, Sergeant Copper. Was any evidence collected on the scene of the murder? On the scene of the murder, we collected the blood uh, forensic evidence. Does the setting of the scene of the crime bear any significance to the defendant, to your knowledge? Oh, it, it is a... Parking. Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. And, uh, is Deathwing yeah. still good? Rebuttal. Uh, I am asking him to the uh, best of his abilities He's due to the bad, fact that right? he investigated the situation, meaning he would have looked into the personal relationship between Jordan Steele and Boba Stone and what the scene may have any importance, if any, to the uh, crime at hand. Okay, and what was your question? Uh, to the best of your knowledge, Ooh. does the scene of the crime bear any significance to the defendant? I'm going to overrule. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah, old Deathwing is just way too good, man. Uh, it was in the uh, general direction of where Jordan Steele and Boba Stone were last seen headed, heading. Okay. Um, on February 21st, uh, did you visit the morgue? I did. Hmm. Uh, did you encounter the defendant at the morgue? Uh, yes. Uh, what did the defendant do at the morgue? Uh, at first, he was uh, grieving over I uh, play Boba so in the uh, viewing room. However, uh, at some point, he did grab the body and attempt to uh, take it outside of the morgue. <laughs> did you level? Uh, maybe I should have uh, Did the defendant say what he was there to do? <sighs> well, whatever. Gotta find that rat pack. I, d I don't remember his exact words, but he, he was going to uh, take Boba out of there was his uh, ultimate goal. Okay. Uh, 
your honors for the uh, the people of the court and for understanding of this narrative the people would like to introduce exhibit a which is police report 17966 uh, which is drafted by sergeant Brittany angel okay that uh, details the narrative of the altercation at the morgue uh, so after jordan took boba stone's body what happened uh, he got, uh, he didn't quite make it to the front door of the morgue. He got maybe about half winner there, um, where we um, had him drop the body. Uh, at that point, he did pull out a weapon and take uh, a, These are someone good. hostage. I believe it was Fiona. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after taking Fiona hostage, um, how did this altercation end? Objection, Your Honor. Relevance. Six. So is Spawn. Rebuttal. Uh, this is speaking to the erratic and violent wing. nature of which uh, the the oh, scene is good with that, happened around Boba Stone's body, who oh, is the victim. Uh, it ended in a shootout when negotiations broke down in the parking lot of the morgue. Okay. Uh, did the defendant say anything during this altercation? <laughs> Uh, during negotiations, <laughs> the, his main demand was basically exchanging the hostage for free passage and the body of uh, Boba. <laughs> okay. Uh, in your expert opinion, did the uh, both of these, did the defendant he? seem chilling, disturbed? That's good. That's good. Or yeah. uh, violent in nature? It's just stats. Right? I mean, he, he seemed very... Um, I mean, obviously, he seemed violent. He had a Double hostage. Well. He had a gun to her head. Push yeah. the six. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how did the situation end? Uh, it, with, <laughs> with the shootout. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, are you aware of any investigations concerning Jordan Steele that also involved Boba Stone? Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, we were uh, investigating him for uh, potential uh, drug-related charges. Okay. Uh, how was Boba Stone involved in this investigation? Boba Stone was the one who came to us. Okay, and they told should us object that to this, right? Jordan Steele might be involved in these drug charges. Oh my God, my rat to, pack just uh, got clarified. Sniped. Boba Didn't matter because I picked informant? these boys up. Uh, for for this one particular incident, yes. Boop. <laughs> okay, uh, I have no further questions for this witness, Your Honor. You may cross. <laughs> that thing is still probably too good. Right? Uh, I'll pick up a double on Boba. All right, uh, Officer Melton, same uh, same situation. You if probably I want to start running. That makes sense to you. Just ask me to rephrase. This is a good board. Slow down, okay? Good board for death. All right. All right. As rat packs, uh, how long have you been with the uh, the Los Santos Police Department? Uh, my academy was in uh, the third week of August, I believe. So since then. All right. And just out of curiosity, is that the same academy academy that Jordan Steele was part of? Uh, yes. Uh, that was part objection. Of the... Scope. Sustained. I mean, I can stop showing this on stream if you want. Just pretend I'm listening. All right. And, oh, uh, God! Uh, Mr. Like that. Recall list. Feel free. Let's stay in the uh, scope. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, as a function of your training during Academy or throughout uh, your time with the uh, LSPD, have you received any training in homicide investigations? Oh, that's so Objection. Objection scope. scope. It goes to the uh, fact that they, Still win, they asked him <laughs> whether or not he was uh, the lead uh, officer in this situation. If he's the lead officer, then his training and expertise are relevant to the scope. Dude, Deathwing is too fucking good. <laughs> Rebuttal. Uh, that's a good Why is this hero in the game? Okay, overruled. Uh, uh, I, I, what do I want on so three? I, I have had an, uh, experience investigating murders in the past. Cobalt? Nothing? Go to four? All right. Uh, Officer Malden, that wasn't my question, though. Did you receive no training, or is it just field experience? Uh, training in Academy, no. So it would have been field experience. Jordan okay. Shield? Oh, yeah, true. I do want that. I'll take the triple, though. And uh, in what way was it determined I'll that take uh, yourself and uh, okay. Copper were going to be the leads on this uh, file? Uh, well, I was the... Uh, 
primary on to respond to the call and due to the uh the informant nature of boba you know since he was uh... talking to us you know we were going to be the ones to investigate his murder because it may be related to that Why'd I put that in first? Um, I'm actually going to reserve the rest of my questions for uh, direct so that I don't have to worry about staying within the scope. I've got uh, quite a bit to ask Officer Malden, and I'd rather it make chronological sense, Your Honor. Very well. 14, so 3 1. I get trouble. I'd like to uh, mark him for uh, recall. Noted. Redirect. I have no questions for redirect unless Counselor Bumbury does. Uh, no. Okay, Officer Malden, you may step down. You're on the recall list, so you can stay here. No worries. Prosecution, coming next Fine. to us. Uh, currently, we have uh, no more witnesses. We would just like to uh, introduce uh, the People's oh, B, uh, the autopsy report written for Boba Stone. Okay. Uh, and I believe that'll be uh, all from us. And with, uh, with, with emphasis on Exhibit B and how it's being introduced, uh, the findings of the doctor of a slit across the throat is consistent with uh, ems brie matthews testimony of a gash across the front of the throat as well um, the autopsy report also states uh, that an absence of any sort of defensive wounds on boba stone's person uh, suggesting that he was caught off guard unaware and his assailant was somebody that he knew <laughs> what okay does prosecution rest yes your honor all right defense go ahead and call your first witness uh, we would call Officer Malton to the stand. Officer Malton, you are still under oath. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me begin your direct. Looks pretty good. All right, Officer Malton, I apologize for that brief interruption. No worries. Freeze for taunt. Um, like to taunt so during your, uh, we'll just pick up where we left off. During your time with the LSPD, uh, Approximately how many murder cases would you say that you've uh, caught oh, primary? Oh, oh, that sucks. I, won't. Uh, I, I can't say for sure, but I, I could say one uh, with without a doubt back in October. All right. And out of those, uh, how many would you say were uh, conducted with a uh, knife or another sharp instrument? Like Deathwing, by the way. Objection <laughs> relevance. Uh, it goes to uh, a point that I'm going to elaborate a little later on, but uh, it's essentially an inconsistency between Officer Malton's report, which says that there was a stabbing in the neck, and the uh, other testimony and evidence, which says that the throat was sliced. Rebuttal back to that. Uh, if that is going to be the emphasis of evidence, uh. then uh, Officer Malton would be the opinion of a layperson who's not a medical expert. Or it would be the opinion of an expert, considering he's supposed to be a homicide investigator and determining the cause of death is a part of that uh, upon initially arriving at the scene. Yeah. You're special to that, Mr. Splaina? Is uh, Officer Malton did not directly examine the body to either save Boba Stone's life in the case of EMS Ree Matthews or determine the actual cause of death, as Dr. Serge Cross did. Uh, okay. the, the duties of examining the body had already been performed. This may just be a clerical error. And your rebuttal to that? Uh, my rebuttal to that would be that uh, under, I believe it's the state's exhibit A, incident report, let me grab the number. Uh, 2792 under page two, the speculation section. Uh, Officer Malton I, is listed right. as the police now officer who wrote kind of this, and he specifically wrote that it was a stabbing, um, and that's what he bases quite a bit of Judd. his... Uh, yeah, judges wants to watch him go at it. Why not? ...analyses from that point forward on. doesn't appear to uh, come off of the official report, which says that the throat was five sliced. Five for Braun? I'm going to let, I'm gonna let uh, the other judge it's decide on actually this. Go, man. I'm going to overrule. Uh, I don't think so, actually. All right, I'll try to uh, try to get there as quick as I can. Right. Uh, can you re-ask so, the question? Yeah, I'll just repeat the question. Um, so out of the uh, murders that you've investigated, how many would you say were done with a uh, sharp instrument, uh, such as a knife, hatchet, machete, whatever you'd uh, consider in that and category? The one murder investigation I performed back in uh, October was done with a hatchet. All right, and in your field training and experience, would you say that you can tell the difference between uh, what would be a stab wound and what would be a uh, laceration or gash? Uh, yeah. 
No, I, I would say that first. upon initial examination of the body, we could only determine uh, a lot of times the type of weapon that is used. Um, my report was written before the full <laughs> oh. medical autopsy was done. So just to clarify, your training and experience as a police officer does not <laughs> allow you to tell whether someone was stuck with the pointy end or whether they were slashed at wi widely. Your, your Honor, I'm submitting a general objection to this due to the uh, circumstances surrounding determining the nature of the wound. Sustained. All right. Uh... Referring to incident report 2792, where it says a uh, brief overview, um, specifically the speculations section. Did you write this, uh, Officer Malden? I did. All right. And under that spec, could you go ahead and read that speculation sec section for us? Could you uh, give me that uh, report number again? I could pull it up on my MDT. Uh, yes, it should be uh, 2792. It's a uh, second page close to the bottom. Maybe I should be paying a little more attention. I'm I'm really tired. <laughs> Are you referring to this section that says speculation chain of events? Should be. I'm just uh, really yes, tired. Yes, where you essentially, uh, yeah, that particular section. All right, and would you like me to just read this section, or did you have a specific uh, question? Uh, in relation to that particular section, uh. Well, first and foremost, uh, keeping in mind that you said you are going to defer to the autopsy or medical exam, does it change your speculation at all if the nature of the wound was a slashing into the throat as opposed to a stabbing, as you state in your speculation section? Uh, give me a moment to reread my speculation Eat a fruit. section. I'm just tired. I slept for five hours. <laughs> No, this would not change my speculation. So it is uh, your professional opinion as an investigator and a uh, police officer that someone could just as easily slash someone's throat as they could quickly stab them in the manner described in the speculation section. It is. Uh, and you, have you responded to uh, how many calls have you responded to or how many files have you been the lead on where there was a uh, someone who had their throat slashed uh, objection I, I, relevance yeah, it's just good divine shields are just good it uh, goes to the nature of the crime uh, officer Malton has written in his speculation section that he believes that someone uh, essentially close to the victim was able to, I guess, sneakily pull a knife and then quickly slash their throat like John Wick. Uh, it's different, and common sense dictates that it's different when it's a stabbing, sla throat slashings generally occur differently. This, uh, this goes back to the general back. objection, Your Honor. Yeah, I guess I will. Yeah, the, the autopsy shows uh, what it I shows did. by a medical professional, so... Uh, I'm just... But, uh, the thing that I'm sorry, Your Honor, the thing I'm questioning Officer Malton on is his speculation there from because uh, when he speculated, he appeared to be relying on the idea of a stabbing, not a slashing. So I just want to clarify that nothing's changed there. Pretty good, boys. You have the autopsy report. So uh, correct. What he speculates on at this point is irrelevant to this case, sustained. Damn, who gave me all this damage? All right, I'll just uh, move on to my uh, next oh. series of questions. All right, I'm going to start paying attention to uh, this. Officer Malden, on that same report is attached a uh, scene of the, uh, a photo of the scene of the uh, crime that took place. Um, you said that uh, you did not return to the scene until after you were notified by EMS that Boba Stone was already dead, correct? Objection leading. Uh, given. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll rephrase the question, Your Honor. Go ahead. Sustain. Officer Malden, at what point in time did you arrive at the scene of the uh, Officer crime? Officer when did you kill Boba? I couldn't tell you an exact time, but it was uh, before the body arrived at the morgue. Uh, Officer Malden, uh, you 
testified previously that uh, it was after you'd been notified of a dead body at uh, Pillbox. Is that not correct? The morgue and the hospital are two different locations. Uh, fair enough. So uh, just to clarify for the court, chronologically, this would have occurred uh, after Boba Stone had already been transported to uh, Pillbox Medical. Correct. Motive is in Penta's and, uh, violent. Do police officers have access I'm to the same violent, 911 the calls fuck? that come in as the uh, EMS do? Uh, if, if they're oh. made using the 911 or the 311 system, yes. That's not really a motive. Okay. That's not a motive. So, that's a characteristic. Uh, do you know the approximate duration of time between when that 911 call came in and you arrived on scene uh, to begin collecting evidence? Uh, no, I do not. If I had to put a very rough estimate on it, it would probably be in the range of Dude, uh, 15 is fucking minutes OP. Uh, after the uh, call was received, or after we were called down to pillbox, rather. Um, evidence tends to degrade rather quickly, and so time is always of the essence, so I like to examine the scene as soon as possible in these cases. That's typically the first question I ask of witnesses Whack. is where did this occur so I could <laughs> examine the scene as quick as Bitch. possible. <laughs> Get out of so here. in this Get particular out of my lobby. circumstance, the uh, crime scene was at the very least left completely open to uh, anyone for a, a duration of at least 15 minutes. I, I would not say at least 15 minutes. I, I would say at, at most. At most. So if we had to put a minimum Dang time on it, what time would you put on that? Five. So somewhere between 5 and 15 minutes, this uh, this crime scene was left free and open. Uh, were there any units positioned to uh, ensure that no one was tampering with the crime I mean, scene in any way? Well, yeah, we did not one. know where four. the crime scene was until it was uh, showed to us by a witness. And Game since it was one. showed to me by a witness, I was the one who was processing it right then and there. All right. And uh, did you take the photograph that's attached to uh, Report 2792? I don't want to swipe. Uh, let me. Can I take a look at the photograph? Yeah, go ahead and take a look at the photograph to refresh your memory. I, I believe it's labeled uh, murder scene. It's kind of spelled like Mordor, but I assume that's a typo. Uh, yes, I would have taken these pictures. I, I believe I actually took all of these photos. We'll invest some battlegrounds in the case. Okay. Uh, and you yeah, also the, objections uh, have been the case is just the, uh, body I mean, no offense, deceased, but it is, is that born. correct? That is correct. Yeah, I picked up a can. And course. did you find anything to be missing from the body of the deceased? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know what he typically carries, so I couldn't say if anything was missing, but I did see a lot of stuff he still had on him. That piqued my curiosity. All right. And uh, whenever you've made it back five to, ten, five to 15 minutes later to examine the crime scene, were there uh, any murder weapons that were left behind or anything that could have been a murder weapon Refresh. left behind? And negative. I canvassed the oh. area. However, I found no uh, weapons. Easy. All right. Whenever you can't say you Easy. canvass the area, how uh, how Easy wide of a way. net are we talking here? How, uh, how far did this canvas go? It typically varies um, depending on circumstances, but I would say for this particular canvas, um, I, I searched just through random, not random, but every dumpster I could find um, from. I would say approximately the uh, le south of Legion Square area to uh, Vinewood, yeah, downtown Vinewood. Uh, okay. And um, was this just you that was canvassing this particular this. area? And negative. I made a 311 call asking officers to canvass the trash cans in the approximate area of the uh, murder scene. I know at least two officers did respond and say they would help. Uh, so they were covering additional areas as well. They reported that they did not find anything no, out of the ordinary in terms of potential murder weapons. And I don't suppose we happen to live in an idealistic world where you guys checked every trash can between here and Vinewood, do we? We do, we do not know. The Boiler's nice, but it's I don't think it's better than anything I so that I, I have. I just checked the ones that I was able to locate from a grid. I mean, this rat pack with mama bear is insane. And uh, you were self aware that officers 18, did not find any damage with this the refresh. Canvas, correct. Right, it's just, it's correct. So good. All right. It's too good. And uh, you stated that... Uh, Honestly, I can probably did, just did go Did you state previously when you arrived at the morgue, Mr. Steele was already present? Or did he arrive at a later Stats? time? Yeah. I, I don't remember exactly. I believe yeah. we arrived at approximately the same time. I think he followed the ambulance down there. 
And uh, did this occur after your canvassing, or was this just shortly after? A you swipe. Were done taking I'd like a swipe. I did not start my canvas. I, I believe I canvassed the immediate, oh, immediate area. Um, Damn, as that I was fucking processing the scene, there are a few dumpsters Ooh, in that area. However, huge. I widened the net of the canvassing after the that actually has a lot incident. of stats. All right, so you, uh, I, I'm just trying to get these a timeline really good, down Holy here. Shit, these are really um, good. So approximately 5 to 15 minutes after you received the call from EMS, uh, which is sometime between 7 and 9 p.m. to the best that we can tell, uh, you head down. Uh, how long did your initial uh, survey of the crime scene and initial canvas actually last? Damn, this guy should not have lost. <laughs> That's <what you're laughs> question. That thing is just so good. This guy was actually yeah. huge. He's only running five minions. Okay, how long did your initial uh, canvas of the crime scene and uh, well, it's just boring. last? Of the initial crime scene, I, I would say approximately five minutes. Um, again, I, I typically just like to go to a crime Stats. scene to make sure that physical evidence is preserved. Um, and then I, once the physical evidence is preserved, I typically move on to witness statements or body examination. Okay. So would it be fair uh, a fair summary of your testimony then that somewhere between 10 and 20 minutes after you received the initial call from EMS, you were returning to the morgue? That sounds about right. Okay, that's just I'm just adding your previous 5 to 15 minutes to that 5 Can minutes I there. I fucking hit this triple? So approximately 10 to 20 minutes later, you arrive at the morgue and uh, Mr. Steele arrives at the same time. Is that is that what you stated earlier? I, I don't remember Pay who attention arrived first to what? Or, or when, but I, I believe it was approximately the same time that huh. we arrived there. All right. Let's go watch it and, from the uh, phone. Can you describe Mr. Steele's uh, general demeanor to me? Um, he, he seemed like he was in uh, grief. You know, he was very... Um, Literally losing? Uh, over the top is not the right word, but very uh, loud and boisterous and kind of saying how, how sad he was. And you... Uh... You had prior relations. Well, no, that's not the way I want to phrase that. I know. You Pay had attention prior, to uh, experience with literally Mr. Steel, out of so you know control. he's kind of a boisterous man to start with. Is that correct? Objection. Yes. Counsel is testifying. We're losing. How would you describe Mr. Steele's general demeanor? We are not going to lose demeanor. this fucking case. It's an objection before, and I'm going to sustain it for leading as well. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll rephrase. Uh, how would you describe Mr. Steele's uh, general demeanor uh, day to day, not that day excluded? Oh, my God. I, mean, I just he's, got he's, my mom. Typically Slide. very level-headed, but uh, on some uh, situations, depending on the circumstances, he can get loud. So you, uh, you think I was going to lose yesterday? Based on your personal experience, I told Mr. you Steele, guys that be we out were going to lose that. For him to express grief in the uh, in the way that you witnessed. The second I saw it was I, Bailey. I, I told you guys uh, we were going to lose that. I don't see him expressing grief all, all that often, but on, if it's right. similar to how he displays uh, oh emotions God. at other times, then right. yes, it would be consistent. Oh my God. All right. And after the events that occurred, uh, were you the officer who uh, searched Mr. Steele prior to uh, his arrest in the, that separate report? I don't recall who uh, oh. searched Oh, he, Mr. he conceded! It might have been me, but I don't remember. Uh, would you like to review he fucking report conceded. number uh, 179? Let me get the rest of that report number for you, actually. All right. We'll uh, yeah, 17966 to refresh your memory. We'll pay attention. Uh, yeah, let me take a look. Since you guys, since I have, since you think I, it's so important that I stand here. Thank God. You know what? You guys were right, man. You guys were right about me fucking paying attention. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you guys for thank you guys for saying the that report I need to... doesn't say <laughs> who searched him, but it implies it was uh, Sergeant Brittany Angel it implies that it was Sergeant Brittany Angel. Uh, would you be able to authenticate the uh, authenticity of that report as to the contents of uh, Mr. Steele's pockets? Uh, again, I, I doesn't look like I searched him and this was <laughs> so long ago, so I have no way to verify this if this was in his pockets on. or not. God, almost right, right now. Half. Uh, based on your investigation uh, there from, did, uh, was there any indication that Mr. Steele had any form of sharp object on his person? If it, it's not notated in the report, so it, no, right. it, I don't know if he did or not. Is there an objection? Uh, no. Okay. 
All right. And pursuant to that same report, uh, let me actually pull my own notes about this up. Uh, once again, report number 17966 uh, under critical updates. Listen, um, midnight. Did you have a warrant issued relating People can to be a interested uh, in whatever they raid want. or the There's search of the properties of Mr. Steele? Objection, facts, not in evidence. <laughs> Uh, it was introduced in the state's own exhibit. I believe it's B, uh, Police Report 17966, critical update. Just because of the characters involved doesn't mean that it's entertaining. I'm sorry, am I not allowed to be bored? question i was asking uh officer malton about the uh warrant that was issued for the search of uh, mr Steele's property oh okay well this is in good. relation to uh that particular police report this is good i'm gonna overrule understood thank you your honor all right i'll uh i'll, I'll restate it for you officer malton uh did you uh pursue a search warrant or a warrant for the search of the properties of officer Steele? It would have been for the uh, in integrity slash uh, government issued apartment, as well as the vehicles that were stored in garages around the area of the murder scene. All right. And uh, was that warrant ever executed? It was. And did any murder weapon return from that raid? Negative, but we found drugs that substantiated Boba's claim to us. I'm going to object to the second half of the witness's statement as irrelevant. Well, you can object uh, narrative, but uh, yeah, I will uh, I'll strike it to seem. Uh, Your Honor, may I, I have rebut to that? <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, we established earlier that there is a secondary investigation involved that establishes the motive of the defendant to kill the victim. Uh, it, w it became relevant to this case during our direct line of questioning. Well, you can ask him that question during your questioning, but that is not the question he was asked. He was asking about a murder weapon. Understood. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sustain the and strike the second half of that uh, answer. All right. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Sorry to keep flipping reports on you, Officer Malton, but I'm going to go back to the... Uh, to my house. Report beginning with 2-7. Oh, uh, is it fair to say that uh, very early into your investigation you suspected uh, Jordan Steele as a, if not a potential suspect, then as the last individual who saw Boba uh, alive? Uh, he was the last person to see him alive per the witnesses of the EMS taken that day, yes, so he was a suspect pretty quickly. And you... Uh, at any point, did you uh, bring Jordan Steele in for questioning in relation to this case? We did not. At any point, did you uh, casually ask Jordan Steele or properly interview or interrogate him as to uh, where he may have last seen Boba? Objection, Objection. asked and answered. Uh, if, if this was asked and answered, then I didn't hear it. Because I've actually been curious about this myself. So I'm going to let the courts hear it again if it has been answered. Ooh, Judd likes that. Overruled. Uh, we may have had a casual conversation immediately after the hospital where I was just trying to get witness statements, but I, I we did not have any formal interview. Fair enough. And is it part of the standard operating procedure of the uh, LSPD to not interview the person who allegedly last saw the decedent alive? <laughs> Objection. Uh, relevance. Uh, it's relevant insofar as uh, essentially questioning the legitimacy of this investigation. They never bothered asking oh, who oh. the... Thank you, Understood. Your Honor. Can you repeat the question again? Is it uh, standard procedure with the LSPD to fail to ask the last person who uh, saw a decedent alive uh, where they may have left that decedent or you know where whether there were was any further information about the whereabouts of the decedent. Can you be more pointed with the question? Can you just ask this question simply? You're, you're making it very compound about the decedent him. Why wouldn't you... Is it part of the standard operating procedures to interview potential witnesses? 
I believe there is no SOP when it comes to murder investigations. If you're asking if I would like to interview suspects and in murder investigations, the answer would be yes. So why didn't you? All right. And one last question. Why didn't you interview Jordan Steele in re relation to this case? There you go. Jordan Steele was also the prime suspect in the uh, Caden murder, and these cases were uh, quickly, rapidly becoming uh, in intertwined, if you will, because he was our prime suspect for both. We decided to concentrate on the Caden case since that was stronger, and unfortunately, due to time constraints, uh, the Boba uh, investigation kind of fell a, a little to the wayside. And when you say we decided, uh, <laughs> were there overlapping officers appointed to both of those as lead? I believe uh, on, on paper, Copper might have been a part of the Caden murder investigation as well, but I don't believe she was as involved with that one as the Boba one. Fair enough. No further questions, Your Honors. Thank you, Officer Malden. Joe's not going to like that. Yeah, he just admitted nice. to not investigating. Nice. Uh, go ahead. Okay. I think he kind of did just admit to like targeting me or just like. All right, Officer Malton. He essentially just admitted to throwing the charges on me without Jordan investigating Steel's the property. case. Uh, did he just admit to throwing charges on me without investigating a case? <laughs> uh, there, there is a report on that it that is, the is impression not in that I evidence, got. but as I could recall from Jesus. that report, it would be a large amount of uh, police-issued weapons Jesus. that were still in his name and a large That's amount crazy. of Murder weed charge. as wow. well. <laughs> uh, was this weed relevant to any investigation? <laughs> yes. What investigation is that? We were looking into a potential drug-related charges, at the very least distribution, if not trafficking for Jordan Steele based off of the information we received from Boba. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, just for the court's clarity, when you say Boba, do you mean Boba Stone? Yes. <laughs> um, I have no further questions for this witness, Your Honor. Yeah, true. Yeah. Redirect. Spider jump. So I'm a drug trafficker <gasps> now? Do you, uh, oh. do you have anything? I don't, I don't really want to like pursue to this drug, uh, drug trafficking. Yeah. Uh, we've got, we've got no further questions for the uh, witness, Your Honor. Officer Malton, you oh. step down. Thank you. I like that these guys with, are with kind of doing uh, a firm thing as well. Honorable Miss Zamalachkova, are, are you shouting? Oh, that's what's going on. Peanut Gallery's having issues hearing you. Yeah, Warcraft I am, Warcraft 3 is trying to download. Um, you're going to have to deal with it. I'm sorry. And Battle Net just Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to okay. just wanted to relay that what was passed to me. Yeah, I'll try to be louder, <laughs> but... I don't thank know you, Your Honor. Um, any other witnesses, defense? Okay. Uh, no, Your Honor. Do you rest, or would you like to go over evidence? The, uh, the defense rests. You did so good. I'm so proud of you. All right. Uh, let's take a five-minute recess, and then we'll move on to closing arguments. Thank you, Your Honor. Mm-hmm. That's actually really good responses. That was actually very yeah. good. Yeah. Well, Walton, you, you held the other really well. I'm just gonna... I know. Just gonna meditate safely. If you think you have oh, an objection, okay. don't bite your tongue. Just say yeah, it. I know. I'm aware. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. It's it's all good. Okay. I know it'll. It's something yes, that develops over time. But, yeah. you know, just, just let it go. Winchester. You feel like you got right. it? Fire. Oh. <laughs> Is this not Winchester? This man. Right. What's up, Bobby? Sorry, I'm hey, saying you're here to observe. Hey, Corinne. Hello. What up? What up? Cap up. I'm eating. Yeah, who the fuck is. Who is DDoSing Blizzard during whenever it needs to be quarantined? Tomato soup. Alright, it takes her now two minutes. What a dick to me to do. Is that all you got? Is that all you had in your hand? It's a lot better than before. Oh, sorry. Chat. You just like it. I like that. Chat, there is no way. I just like it. Just like they have all the. How's my gut? Oh, you suck. Dude, there's no way. What? I feel like I don't know. I like to eat cheese and bread. Yeah, it's real, but you mean. I bet you're one they of those gave motherfuckers a weak that pumps bread they, they on, they butter on crackers, though. and you're like, this is a snug. <laughs> There's no uh, murder weapon. Right 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 meditating, all right. Steel. There's no... Yeah. Stonefinger. Oh, Bronze Stonefinger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, how you doing? All right, it's... uh. How you, how you holding up? You got this deal. Thank you, Winchester. Um, well, I don't know. Did you see the case? We ain't talking about. Yeah, I've been uh, been here for pretty much the whole thing. Yeah, what would you think? As always. I don't know. It's tough to say. How you how you feeling about it? Um, uh, feeling good. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, good. Hey, Jordan. Yes. Can I just right. say I really enjoyed that comment you made to Bree. 
when yeah. she was on the stand. Um, I'm sure you did. Oh yeah, I really did. That was good. I appreciate hey, that. Thank um, you. Sorry, Arno. What? Uh, Pretty are you, uh, science experiments. Did you look into right. that? You still, into that right. you still looking into that thing we were talking about? Uh yeah. Got to right, Spoke to uh, you, Knight, and uh, he gave me a little bit of a Keys. an assignment. Look at Jordan's hat when you get a chance. Scoring. Okay, I gotta see that. I gotta see that. What do you do when you are drunk to not be drunk? Yeah, I don't eat. Yeah, as soon as I get out of prison, we're gonna hit the ground running on that. We gotta what stop the these bastards. Stop All right. Out. All right, do uh, I'll lay low until then. Who All right, the hell? Finger. Stay strong. Yeah, yeah. Can I Did help you write you? that shit on your hand? No, I got no, it at the fair. Did Mr. A Rogers fair. been around here? So? Huh? What fair? There was a fair. Mr. In town. Rogers? Go to the fair. Yeah, there's a lot of meat free sandwiches. Oh, I don't know any of these. Right. Yeah. These are mine. Ow. I did de de delivery. Oh, you said you delivered. Okay. Oh, what? You sent them to light? Yeah. This might take a while. You evil son of a bitch. Yeah, don't. What the fuck? Why are you talking to me like that? Too much stuff. I'm going to go start getting weird stuff going on. All right. Murder scumbag. Whoa, whoa. Murder scumbag. All right. I'm not a murderer. When light shines upon your skin, do you start to fucking melt? Hey, you better get your fucking boy. I'm about to beat the bald right. off this motherfucker. That's, that's <laughs> impossible. Let's let's uh, let's let's, uh, let's wind it nice back. Try. Let's wind it back. <laughs> Cut. Uh, motherfucker. Let's, let's wind it back. Yep. Yep. yep, yep. Are you yeah. What a bitch. <laughs> I'm about to dip up. But I didn't. You know, that's a completely different charge. That's drug trafficking. We're here for a murder charge. Jordan, can I see your hat? Completely yeah, irrelevant. Sure. You mind? Thank you. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the yes. the Are drug you... trafficking is an interesting question, yeah, but I don't think it's overly damning considering how weak the rest of the evidence is. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't really majorly really establish that as true. You know, I don't think he establishes yeah, true motive. Going. But I mean, we're completely missing your weapon. So. Just never forget Diaz. Uh, missing the weapon yeah. 15 minutes unaccounted for uh, plus half of their witnesses testified as to how good of friends Jordan was with the uh, they're over there the behind, they're behind yeah. the uh, uh, laptop yeah it should definitely point that out yeah you want some. the character so toy, yeah and then the Z with <laughs> each of the witnesses yeah they brought us some it's behind the laptop it's funny <sighs> yeah, hopefully we get to hear about the appeal. I haven't seen I haven't seen any updates on the uh, docket. What should I hear? Uh, we'll see. I don't know. Something about drug traffic. Hopefully, a bar. Our schedule or coyote. Will I say something? Oh. I'm kind of confused as to the status of this. Honestly, we've got two judges, but not a panel of three. I don't really know. Uh... Which I mean, that's kind of interesting. They're yeah, I, really I, I created some out. story I where I was I've been I've involved in interest. drug trafficking or something. Well, well, they're 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 the I still know that Wasn't there other spot. people involved with that though? Yeah. But there's no. Was there even a report on that? I don't even know. Coyote keeps trying to hold my hand. I don't want to do cases with him anymore. Every time I'm up here, he's trying to hold my hand. I've had trafficking. If you don't find them true with it. Uh, should we go ask the judges if we'll be hearing about the appeal today? No, I mean or... physically he's trying to. Um, no, I mean he's actually trying to. No, I uh, I heard from That's one true. of them earlier. Yeah, that, uh, they might. Uh, I drug trafficking is supposed to be used as. We'll find out. I don't know. Okay. Right. Now someone's like doing it. Is, like someone has like a I think operation. We're just appealing the fact uh, that we need a retrial. Yeah, saying Bobo was a CI. The drug delivery statement and you killed him. Deny the appeal and they'll probably dismiss the underlying verdict without prejudice. I mean, it's an interesting choice. Then the state will have to rebring it. Could you do anything about it? We'll find out. This is honestly, we're kind of setting new ground with Mr. Steele with appealing that trial in the first place. People don't do. That, won't quit so. sticking to me. I, could leave. I still wish these guys right. would have went with painting someone else. How are you feeling, uh, Jordan? I, could I mean, there's no way they convict me of that kind of this, right? Do you eat food or uh, anything, Jordan? You good? I don't. I don't make guarantees, Mr. Steele. But uh, if I did, <laughs> yeah, Winchester. What do you think? I, I, do you need food or anything? I got some food for you if you need it. Uh, I'm good. You I know. picked up some burgers out that were just laying on the ground, on the floor. How about your lawyer? We want your lawyer to stay clear and focused this time. This. I'm, uh, this one's not a racist, right? No, 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 no certainly not. Did you, did you vet for him? Yeah, he's not a racist. Hey, 
This is your lawyer, right? Yes, sir. Give me a. I held you two switch right spots. My face. <laughs> All right, is he drunk? All right. No, I think he's good. Yeah, okay. All right. Thanks, right. for Kaden right. and Bo uh, Buddha for the Boba. Yeah, I don't know why no one is will do that. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, get closing statements. It seems like that they just want to focus on sure. this other one. Your Honor, people of the court. The facts add up to write a narrative of events that on the fateful night, on that fateful night of February 21st, 2020, a night in which this city lost a friend, a brother, a man who put himself in harm's way to save others on a daily basis. The defense has compared the evidence and testimony presented today as a chain link, missing a vital piece to connect everything together. But I would argue that this case is closer to a puzzle set. A puzzle set that has been nearly finished, would it not be for a single missing piece? But it is as a result of the pieces we do have, and the context in which they lie, that we are able to fill in the piece's shape and print. The last time Bova Stone was seen alive was with his de then friend, Jordan Steele. Accounted for today by multiple of Boba Stone's co-workers, all of which testified that Boba Stone was dressed in an outfit worn exclusively when spending time with the defendant. <laughs> Not even 20 minutes later, likely even less, Boba Stone's body was discovered stabbed to death. Meaning, it was within the time frame of Boba being left in the parking lot, and EMS being called, that Boba Stone was killed. Medical examination determines that Boba Stone was killed by a person that he trusted, that he offered no resistance, a deduction made not on whether the, the victim was sliced or stabbed, but due to the absence of defensive wounds. The victim was found in a parking garage structure, which is similarly significant due to the fact, uh, due to the victim's outfit being a parking stripper. Okay. And Jordan Steele's primary entrepreneurial pursuits uh, being parking structures, a place of significance to both parties. And finally, to put any rest of doubt that may remain, after Boba Stone was entered, into the morgue, the defendant came into a storm of violence to disturb the corpse of Boba Stone that ended in a violent standoff. As established by Officer Lance Moulton, Boba Stone was an informant against the defendant in another investigation. Dude, I wonder if how... the defendant had been made aware of this knowledge, this establishes a motive. I wonder if the DA narrative. went this nuts on other people, how As good Mr. the criminal Crane system said, would be. This is the missing link to, a, to the complete chain. The defendant learned of Boba Stone's involvement in the investigation <laughs> and decided that Boba Stone must be silenced and determined that the best means to someone to remain silent is a knife to the throat. You this got demolished, have fun in jail, kid? The silence of Boba oh, Stone. shut the fuck up. The Once you're old enough to afford a Boba real Stone's sub, then you can call me kid. Is an act so negligent and reckless like gifted action sub that no rational club. explanation can be found for how one of sound and rational mind and ordinary <laughs> prudence could justify the abduction of a corpse without some ulterior motive. While everyone most certainly has their Fifth Amendment right to remain silent, the fact remains that neither he nor his counsel can offer any alibi to his actions, to where he last saw Boba Stone, or any viable arguments to contest the evidence that has been brought forth today. And it is for the facts presented here today, and Not the egregious nature the of the crimes yeah. alleged against a government employee, that the district <sighs> attorney's office is seeking a life sentence without any possibility of parole. Thank you. Okay. All right. Are you uh, ready for me, Your Honors? Just want to point out the proof of burden is on the state. Here we go. Thank you, Your Honors, and may it please the court. Uh, as was previously discussed in opening arguments and has essentially been uh, admitted by the state in closing arguments, it's important to remember that this is an evident, this is a case in which there is no direct evidence as to the defendant's guilt. Uh, there is no murder weapon. There is no direct witness. There is no smoking gun. Tonight, the state attempts to emphasize the links of its chain or the pieces of its puzzle or whatever they want to call them uh, that they believe ties the defendant to this murder. However, the defense urges that this court pay attention instead to the weakened and missing pieces of that puzzle or links in that chain. 
First, the state has provided absolutely no motive that the defendant would uh, have for the killing of Boba Stone whatsoever. Uh, they vaguely allege that Mr. Stone was uh, some sort of confidential informant. Uh, however, they they have absolutely no proof that Mr. Steele, uh, the defendant herein, was aware of that whatsoever. Further, the hmm. state's own witnesses have testified that... Uh, the defendant and Boba would frequently go towing cars together. Chang gang baby. For all intents and purposes. CG. Boba entered into Jordan's vehicle without a second thought in the world. In fact, he clocked right. out and abandoned his ex-wife and or friend. It was the uh, Chang gang. <laughs> on shift by herself that night to go spend time it. with him. That's one link of the chain that's missing. Mm. Second, the state has changing. no murder weapon. Despite conducting a raid on the defendant's properties, despite allegedly canvassing the immediate area, despite allegedly canvassing everywhere between the site of the murder and the Vinewood Hills, they came up empty-handed. It's further worth noting that they actually searched Mr. Steele directly after the uh, incidents that had hap happened in the morgue thereafter. Again, no murder weapon, nothing that could have been used herein. They had no difficulties locating Mr. Steele. In fact, they processed him for a uh, litany of crimes that he committed while he was grief-stricken thereafter. He was uh, in police custody, and uh, these charges had not been brought against him. Nevertheless, they elected not to question Mr. Steele, uh, formally or otherwise. Uh, the state attempts to make this seem as though it's some trick by the defense, as though Fifth Amendment rights were being asserted. However, Mr. Steele was not in custody. He was not detained. Uh, and he was not represented by counsel at that stage. He could have been questioned just like anyone else on the street. Uh, but the state That's big, I think. failed to heed that step. Yet again, another link of the chain missing. For I think that's the big. state has not proven, uh, despite what they may say about narrowing time frames, that the defendant had the exclusive opportunity to commit this murder. There is a period of anywhere from 15 to 20 to 30, depending on which witness you want to listen to. Uh, minutes where the uh, decedent and the defendant were last seen together. In fact, uh, it seems as though, once again, as I've previously stated, nobody bothered asking Mr. Steele about that. Nobody bothered uh, asking where the last place he saw him was. They simply wrote him down as the prime suspect and moved on with their lives. Or, That's good. pursuant to the testimony of Officer Malden, moved on to other apparently more important investigations. Ooh, I like that. Finally, the uh, it is worth noting that the state has absolutely no evidence of premeditation. Uh, as the uh, state's own evidence, I believe it's Exhibit B, uh, report number 17966 states, uh, their best guess as to what happened is that a conversation got heated and that resulted in some sort of killing. As I've already stated, they've wholesale full failed to prove that, but even if they did prove that, that means that there was no premeditation. That means that there would be a heat of passion in that action. So the state asks that this court drag Mr. Steele up to Bolingbrook Penitentiary, and they've brought with them, rather than a chain, a contraption that's half cobbled together with paper mache, rope, bits of barbed wire, and uh, anything else they could find in their office to tie Mr. Steele to this murder. For these reasons, the defense respectfully requests this court return a not guilty verdict and release Mr. Steele immediately from his bail and custody in relation to this case. Thank you, Your Honors. Yeah, that was good. All right. Uh, Coyotes and I are going to go back and deliberate. I would like everybody to leave the courtroom and wait outside. <sighs> That's good. I just, I just, I wish more lawyers were like aggressive. You know what I mean? That's how I want to be. I want to be in this motherfucker screaming at you. You are the best lawyer I have ever encountered on the other side of the aisle, and I love you. I, I love you guys too. Fuck? Get out of Respect. here, Spiner. <laughs> what the fuck? You love them. They're trying to put me away for life. Yeah, the hell you know, is that shit? It's a professional you know how courtesy long I've been thing. Looking. Don't have professional to courtesy? They're trying to put Everyone me in prison out. forever. Oh, come on. Let's get it. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that was him saying they failed to do that, so. Let's we'll step outside and have a cigarette. Oh. Uh. Oh. Extremely good time, Dad. Ingesta? How are you? You ain't said that. Yeah, that was uh, impressive, honestly. He knows, he knows they're screwed. 
just sit in the lobby. <laughs> so, alright, look at this. Two head. Ready? Alright. No problem. You know that's bad luck. Umbrella. You are so... I know. Inside it is, Wait, yeah. I wanna see, I wanna see your hat. Do you know? No. Oh. <laughs> Boy, it's a great tribute. to hat. You guys Diaz. didn't even yeah, know not... Diaz! You didn't even know Diaz! Me. You didn't know Diaz like I did! We hunt. <laughs> you don't get to look at that! You didn't know Diaz like I did! We, we hired him, he delivered burgers to me, you fuck! Oh, you just used him no like job. a little errand boy, no real job. good! Well, that was his he was more than an errand boy! <laughs> But it was, he was more uh, than a burger boy. He was a man, a burger Bring man. A like a goddamn child. What else is new? It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Well, if I was a child, you'd try to be throwing me a new van, you sick fuck. <laughs> what? Wait. Wait. What? <laughs> hey, baby. That, there's no context. Jordan, it. don't say like that. What do you want me to do? He's an asshole. Look at him. All right. How are you feeling, Mr. Steele? I feel good. I feel good. Oh my god. <laughs> Hopefully a little better than so you felt fun. yesterday. Dream, please stop a lot better. All right. Well, that's my. All right, and that's my job. So. That was a. Yeah, you know what? Oh, that's my job. Like some people. Yeah, are. Right. Okay, I think Have I'm good. Have some self-control. I'm worried about you. Yes, Cream. Nice. I've only been here for approximately. Oh, I don't know, 12 minutes or so. But I think you've done a pretty good job. What? No, thank you. How long you been here, huh? Say stuff like that that could be taken out. Yeah, he was a uh, co-counsel. Oh, hey, well, do, you, do you hear this officer threatening me in public well? for no reason? You hear yeah, this? What is that wild shit? Yeah, what's that shit about? Hey, do you need me to slip a bottle of vodka in your lawyer's pocket? I have a gun. I mean, if you want. Just to in case. Drink. No, Snow, please. You're not. Thinking what, what does that mean? Just in your case. Emotions are taking control right now. Yeah, oh, what no, do you mean? Just in case. Actually, got approached by uh, Thalia today. No, no, said that we're good. Everyone should go to therapy. I was like, all right, I'll go to therapy. <laughs> what do you think? This is a so solid, a solid I, I not I'm guilty here. No way. I, yeah, it feels, it it feels Plus, pretty solid to me, but I don't make guarantees. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Start making guarantees, and uh, I feel good about you wind up like Murphy Braun, so. I think Katya is kind of up in the air for me, but Coyote, yes, no, you need I think. I think Coyote ate that shit up with a silver fork, to be honest with you. I don't yeah, like you never know with Coyote, he's a wild card. Them, them uh, skipping, even questioning me, the uh, supposed okay, last yeah, person that saw him alive, and uh, you would think that they would want my, you know what I mean, my story. So them skipping that stuff and just painting me as the suspect. Yeah, yeah, no, that was good. And you said that, so it's good. It's really killing me. I know you're fine. Here, I'll put this out. We'll see. We will see. So does that thing protect you from like? Does it filter air when it comes in? Yeah. No, it has nothing to do with like breathing or anything. It's just a thing to help me speak because my larynx, the little filament that helped that vibrates to make your voice, yesterday was pretty fucked up. Me? So this thing is like I haven't been talking to her about any sort of is is like pushed up against the bottom of my throat and causes a vibration that emulates a voice kind of sound. Yeah, I'll start it out. It's just uh I hope yeah, well, and it's time with my lips long, so that it I only makes that sound while my lips are moving. Which makes really weird oh. sounds like if I do this blah 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 I don't, I'm not even trying it, it's just making making noise. But it doesn't know the difference. Yeah it was just a little. That's uh. Hmm. This is a good that's headline. perhaps the Mother weirdest thing that I've ever heard. But you should see it goes you right over your mouth. You should see if they can put a filter products. in there for you for like you know the coronavirus or whatever. Okay. I'll oh, I it. tried, but if I ever have to cough, you got me NBC it news. just splatters on the inside, and it's a real pain in the dick to clean it out. Yeah, that would be problematic. Like sneezing? Oh no, sneezing horrible. Wait, what? So are you a uh, vet? You, they said your name was Officer Winchester, right? Deputy Winchester. Deputy. Okay, so you're with the BCSO. I respect that. Correct. They either so, donated uh, entire body part, bodies or body parts. Prior uh, service oh, member. Okay. Oh, they had my radio uh, no, this or is just our dress uniform. Oh, okay. I don't think that I've ever seen anyone wear the dress uniform. You should bring those out more often. That's because not many officers actually have respect for their job. Oh, Unlike they donated myself, it so they can save the cost of cremating here. the bodies. Well, uh, <laughs> That's Deputy fucked Winchester, up. I'd like to uh, Damn, these bitches are fucked if I ever up. I have to examine you on the stand. It's nothing oh personal. I do God. respect what you guys do, but Yo, these, are, these bitches are uh, I can make sure it's done clean. This uh, mother daughter uh, I duo completely. in Colorado yeah. ran a funeral home. Nothing less. And they would. You should do everything in your power to ensure justice. They would donate the bodies 
you know, the. Yeah. So uh, I was. Did someone ask me something? Uh, no, no I, I think you're free to keep zoning out. <laughs> so, the, so they donated know, the bodies to medicine. Yeah, to science. Just... It has been. Oh. God damn it. Oh, but there, are people, there are stressful. people here who believe in your innocence, who kind of saw what was going on. The moment oh, they've, the doctor smacked your ass and let you back out in the field after giving you morphine without any kind of warning, it was just nonsense. I'm telling you, these... And all this is this fucking into PD, this whole mess. This PD is targeting me. I, if they would put half the effort they put into arresting me into arresting other criminals, this fucking city would shine, baby. It'd be spotless. Crime free. Okay. I don't know about that. Because well, you're not here to help us to get there. That's a goddamn good point. Yeah, sure. That's a goddamn good point. Maybe someday. You know, I'm basically the only officer who does traffic stops anymore. Is that right? It's disappointing. And you know what? I actually had a judge tell me that traffic stops are not real police work and dismissed a case oh my because God. it originated from a traffic stop. That's, what? It's like the opposite of the traffic stops. Are the, you know traffic stops are how they caught Ted Bundy, right? Yes. Traffic stops are it's, critical. In it's also the how they caught the uh, the guy weeks. who bombed the Oklahoma City buildings. Yep. Yeah, in the last two weeks, I have seized over 150 quarter-ounce bags of marijuana, over 80, gram, or 80 bags of 5 grams of cocaine, uh, 7 Class 2s, all uh -huh. without firing a shot, without a chase. It has uh -huh. been very peaceful. Nobody had to get hurt. That's good police work, traffic God damn stops. It. That is good police. It is. Let's get it off the street. And it's leads. It's leads, God damn it. It's leads, and nobody got hurt because there was no chase putting anyone's lives at risk. Mm. Because traffic stop. Meanwhile, I got but, these dickheads. Throw you know, I'm surprised these motherfuckers even accepted this case. What, what, yeah, is, what is this what about? That like, what is their whole base oh, of the, charging yeah. with this? Or they I don't, even went forward with the charges. This seems... I'm confused as to why the DOJ would push this oh, one, to be honest. But I was surprised they pushed the other one and we saw where that wound up. What do you want, you fucking cat bitch? Did you murder Boba? You murdered Boba the day you fucking broke his heart. Are you fucking kidding me? Ever since then, he, is ne he's, he was never the same after that. You killed Boba. How? I didn't kill him. The divorce was mutual. Fuck you. Oh, You're the one that really? Is that why he <gasps> cried in my arms and tried to put hits out on you? What do you mean he tried to put hits out on me? He wouldn't do that. Okay, well, let's ask him. Oh, wait. We can't because you uh, killed him. I mean, if anyone would know, it would be his best Nettie friend. Come on. Let me check. God damn, people have no, like, Bree. common sense anymore. No, I don't. I heard that, Bree. Bree, please don't. No, she don't, said, Bree. so concerned. All right, she said, do you have a gun in your pocket? Or are you just I happy to gone. see me? And I said, I, I was happy to see her. Oh, my goodness. Is it? Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any, do you have any gum? Kareem, please, no flash photography. Yeah, gum. Yeah, a lot Volume. of spearmint in my pocket. Turn it up. We yeah, can't hear. Oh, now it's too loud. Don't tell me how to do my job, sir. <laughs> yes, it is perfectly fair. Thank you. Boba, I know you're out there. Please show these judges that I did not murder you. Please. Boba in heaven. Jordan! Mm -hmm. He, uh, you know. Shit. Yeah. Does this make me look guilty? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, kind of. <laughs> Love this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. All right. It looks like I'm happy that I got away with it. But anyway. 
<laughs> Burn wound. <sighs> they love you. Yeah, that was a very good closing from that game. A very good. Very I'm, good. Je I'm actually jealous. Hear ye, hear ye. I want to. He's a very smart one. man. Yeah. Vocabulary is very high caliber. The, the judges wish changed positions. This is serious. Articulate. Uh -oh. Many words. Right, uh, I'm going to have a heart attack. Go ahead and just make sure uh, the door is locked and everything. Oh, God. They're, I'm guilty. What the fuck? What do you mean to make sure the door is locked? I think <laughs> she's just trying to stress you out. Here, I got the keys. You got a track record, Mr. Steele. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, track record. I'm so excited. You're thinking of someone else. No, I literally say that to everybody. Wow, to everyone has the best court track court. time. Let me let me check the board. So it was under ten okay. seconds, Bobby. Under ten seconds. All right, here we go. We're going to murder. Did we say bullets? We're, we're going for murder. We here we go, Chip. In our here we go. Our digital camera. This is. Uh, I believe we are ready, Your Honor. He's back in a session. I'm gonna render our guts. Now I don't so feel good. For uh, some time in there, went over the evidence, and um, it gets out. Oh. You know, there there is a puzzle here. It's very good. And uh, we can we can pretty much see the whole picture. Uh, I know there's a couple pieces missing here and there. Um, pretty much. However, the pieces that are missing are so crucial to this case. Oh. And that. Uh, it, it does. It lacks a lot. It lacks a lot. We do not have much to go on Good. as far as the actual murder weapon. Okay. Uh, the motive, uh, in, in my, in our, in this court's opinion, let me just change the whole thing. In this court's opinion, uh, was, was not clearly cut enough. I think this is going to be a difficult decision to make. Mr. Steele, uh, how long is your sentencing for the other case? Uh, 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 your Honor, if I may, it was 15 years. All right, let me do some number crunching here. Yeah, Yana, just to clarify, uh, it was eight years, um, you know, in eight. prison, seven years for yeah. It was eight years, Your Honor. Seven parole. Seven Hold parole. Hold on, I'm trying to find my calculator app. She's adding on the contempt charges, I think. <laughs> oh, oh God. there it is. Okay. The judge over here is going to give a verdict. After the verdict, I'm going to give a rundown to the conclusion of the verdict made. After the verdict wow. is made, everyone don't run out of the courtroom. We're not finished. Okay, perfect. All right, uh, count one of the indictment, murder of a government employee. Uh, Jordan Steele. I find you not guilty. God damn it, no! Why? That's, that's, Fuck! That's the, that's, oh! That's, that's the good you one. fucker, that's the good splitter! One. You that's son the, of a bitch, I'll strangle you! Jordan, I said Jordan. Not. Jordan, that's the good oh. one. That's the, oh, not oh, guilty. Oh, that's the good one. down there, Jordan. You, you, it is for him to want to kill people. <laughs> oh. All right, so Fantastic. let me get the run down of this. Basically, there's plenty of factors. Like, like the, the the district attorney said, this <laughs> this was a puzzle. Case. But the thing is, uh, this isn't a puzzle that's missing <laughs> one piece where you can look at the puzzle and see what the actual full puzzle is. In this case, the only puzzle piece that was even on the table was one found under a sofa I'll in the box you like I killed the cupboard. <laughs> it had a motive, but the motive uh. itself was circumstantial because we don't know if Jordan knew or not that uh, Boba was an informant. Better yet, the evidence shows that he didn't know. Because if he would have known that Mr. Boba was an informant, then why would he keep the marijuana that Mr. Boba uh, snitched on in his house if he knew that Boba Oh my god, a judge on? is using his that brain. That wouldn't make any sense to us. <laughs> so the motive itself, not only... I didn't even think about that. That's actually... But the motive itself, the evidence shows that smart. it's not true. Uh, second of all, you have no murder weapon. The... Uh, the only the only thing facing around this whole entire case altogether is all circumstantial evidence. The only evidence given to this courtroom today, the point that Mr. Steele was the 
the murderer <laughs> of Boba smile. is he was the last person seen with him. And we can't even get to the bottom of that because no one questioned him about it. Yeah. We don't even know what happened in those, what, what happened that 20 minutes uh, before Mr. Boba's uh, denies, demise. We don't know what happened. And the last person that was seen with him wasn't even questioned to find out what happened. Now, I do understand that Mr. Steele could have pled the fifth, and that, and that would have stopped that investigation altogether. But they didn't even attempt to. So we don't know. It, it wasn't even offered. It wasn't even on the table. So I hope you can understand why the courts came to the decision this case is closed. Uh, Completely understood, Your Honor. Thank you. <sighs> Only the PD would have uh, done their Steele. job. Uh, Pleading yeah. plead the fifth and not question a man is more or less the same thing. So why do you Green, not say do you that? want goddamn contempt? Uh, no, Yana, yeah, I do not. Green, if you want to talk about right. something, you, you can come up here. Please approach me Well, I just afterwards I he said he was going to grab me up. <laughs> okay, Mr. Steele, stop talking, and I'm going to okay. give you your contempt charge, Mr. Steele. Uh, <laughs> you're going to receive an extra year of parole if you are granted parole. If you're not. Granted parole, you're going to receive an extra year in Bowling Brook. Understood? No fine. I, okay. Play fuck around time with me, Mr. Seal. A year? Case is adjourned. <laughs> well, if you get parole. Thank you, Your Honor. Jesus Christ. Wow, you're, you're kind of a dick. Yeah, what the fuck? A she, year? She is kind of a dick. <laughs> Who is that something for murdering Boba? Oh, here. Yeah, well, if you loved him so much, why'd you fucking uh, break okay, off the marriage, you. you dumb bitch? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, man. Mr. Cream, do you, you want to come up here? Yeah. Uh, no, I guess we're not hearing about you. Right. I, I got another thing I got to do. Dang it. God, a First year? Thing, uh, Holy I'm crap. With this two for two, Bobby. Bobby. Can you please unlock the door before I get for killed? Two for two. Hold on. Hold on, I got to talk to you. Hold on, hold on. I got to unlock the door first. Yeah. Wait. Man, I knew that I knew that. Uh, <laughs> Kareem I always hated Jordan, but Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. There you go. All right. Um. <laughs> DA stay. Oh. Job lawyers, take care of Steel. Excuse me. If you're a part of the DA's office, thank uh, you. Get back Thanks, in here, deputy. Glad some of my brothers stole my back. God damn it. All right. Here, Give me a moment. Bunbury, I think that's that's uh, all the DAs that were present in this case, Your Honor. Okay, there's an appeal on the table for a one Jordan Steele for the court case last night. The justices have voted. What we're going to do at this time is we're going to grant Ooh. Mr. Steele bail until we can have an, a hearing to where the district attorney and his attorneys can argue whether this appeal should go through or not. Does everyone understand that? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Understood. So I, just so I'm yeah, clear, sure. you want... We, Okay, I, just so I understand, because this mm -hmm. is kind of confusing for me. We're mm -hmm. supposed to argue why a case should go forward instead of arguing the actual case before it goes through? So, yes. Okay. Essentially, what happens here, Larry, is, is uh, Your Honor, if I understand correctly, this is going the writ of habeas corpus route where it's being yes. determined okay. whether Okay, okay, the... so, okay, okay. Yes. I, I, I understand now. So, we're just All we're right. just going with the writ of habeas corpus. Okay. Yeah, and you basically, the writ of habeas corpus, we. Man, we argue this, this as to attorney's why it on it, dude. Denied the, he the submitted right to appeal, and they argue show why you he should be granted the right to appeal. He's really wondering what right. the reasoning behind that appeal that is in the filing itself. It, so. is, in the, it yep. is in the current filing. So at this time, what we're going to do, he because fucking... the court docket is jammed up, we're not going to keep Mr. This. Steele currently detained inside Bolingbrook. We will. At 2 a.m. Mr. Steele. Crank but all this out, Mr. man. Mr. Steele. Can you hear me? Yes, Your Honor. Any misdemeanors, any <sighs> felonies, sir. I don't know, I'm going in. You will be put back in prison. Do you understand that? I understand, Your Honor. Thank All you. right. And Your Honor, you, if I may. Your Honor. Yes, you may. Um, I know you just said it, but I just want to clarify. It's misdemeanors and felonies, correct? Correct. Okay. If any, gets, any criminal listen, action, basically. Listen, if it's something where he's driving it's a car and he steps. runs a red light, it's you're not going to take him into that, okay? So and we're going to try to get this heard as soon as possible so he's not struggling out here on the streets being stuck. He's got a property that he needs to take care of, things like that. He's got a lot of things to worry about, all right? Okay. Uh, Your Honor, just for the sake of uh, yes. wording, could I tell the officers to add on to his criminal profile any criminal action other than minor traffic offenses? Yes. 
Okay. Just wanted to make sure that I, I guess it'd be anything that page. warrants an arrest, correct? Right. Anything that warrants an arrest, right? So, so any, so citations are good. Oh, they're gonna anything love that. Anything arrest is bad. So citation. Right. Okay. And anything other than a citation. Part of bail conditions is if he is stopped. Or can't shoot. Offense. I can't do anything. The, ser- the cops can search them if he has the cause and everything like that. Okay. Okay. All right. I literally, yeah, I mean, if I, if I, the cops go looking anything. for something to pull him over and make something up. All right. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I'm sure okay. they won't do sure. that, Your Honor. All right. Mr. And just Steele, to uh, understand everything that I've laid out here in court today for you. Yeah, I don't need you to. Uh, I have my whole brain. I would never need you to repeat anything. All right. Okay. And does your attorney understand <laughs> that? Uh, I just want to clarify, uh, Your Honor, is mm-hmm. he, he's being released on his personal recognizance, right? He's not going to be uh, posting anything for be, this. There will be no cash taken on this, yes. Perfect, he's, thank you. He's shown that he hasn't run. He's had two murder charges. He's shown up for both of those. I don't believe, and the courts don't believe, that he would run at this time. If he does run, it's not going to be good, okay? Fantastic. All right. I'll just go die in the park. <laughs> we will get that hearing. We will put the we will put it together on the docket, and then we will have a closed hearing. Does everyone understand me? This is not going to be bringing in witnesses or anything like that. It would be a closed session with the district attorney and his lawyers and <laughs> Mr. Steele if he wants to be there. Yeah, yes, it all Honor. depends on where Under- it is. Understood, Your Honor. Uh, I'm I'm giving appropriate orders to the law enforcement officers now. All right. Thank you very much. Your Honor, permission thank to you. approach. Which one? You. Me? Yes. What do you want to approach for? Uh, DHI, uh, this is like an his NPT profile right now. Personal like, matter? Yes, sir. Okay. Ooh, fantastic. That'd be great. Step forward. What is it? Uh, I'm still going to send out a, an, a, uh, an advisory All just right. in case. We should talk for a little bit. All right. Nobody had updated his profile uh, since the last time. It still was showing about a violent felony on there. Uh, yeah, that was the conditions of his uh, prior bail upon his release. Uh, he had not he had not gotten done. Uh, Your honors, are we uh, dismissed at this time? All right. I am uh, amending it to state any arrestable, any f- offense that constitutes... Oh, okay, one down. He shall be remanded yeah. into Bolingbroke for essentially the nines until his appeal is heard. Is that correct? Cor- correct. Until the writ- until his uh, writ of habeas corpus. All right. You, you his just... profile is updated with that information. Thank you, Winchester. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right. I gotta go talk to Bobby. All righty. I think so... that'd be perfect. That'd be perfect. Do y'all have any questions about what a writ of habeas corpus is? Do y'all understand that? I believe I'm, I'm, I understand it. Checking whether okay. or not it's worth pursuing a pretty much what it, you said. It's it's a it's a hearing right, of unlawful so detainment. Uh, and it's saying that he is being detained unlawfully because the right. trial that put him in detainment is unlawful. Okay. Or that he is being held on an investigative hold for too long, like lo- longer than 72 hours. Basically, mm-hmm. he is being held unlawfully. And that is being called into question. It's it's a lawyer's ability to say my rights, my client's rights have been violated, and I want to call a hearing as to why uh, his, appeal for his the Hunter case. holding should be invalidated, or he should be released because he is being held unlawfully. I'm gonna ask. So him in if this he instance, they're saying that he We're was good, not right? given the right to a fair trial. I'm gonna ask this guy if he wants to do it. He's being held unlawfully because the mm-hmm. the trial he's is being a lawyer, error, and he should not have been found guilty. That is the entire premise of this. So we have we come in here and say why the why the um, why the case was good, why he it was legal, why he should still be held, and why he should full serve his full sentence. Uh, Your Honor, are the uh, is the defense needed for this any longer? No, no, you're free to go. No, everyone's right. free I'm just, to go. Yeah. I'm just, I'm awesome. just doing a. I'm just the weirdest the direction right now, and it's been so hard to cover. Thank it. you, Your Honors. I'm right. glad that justice uh, could prevail here. If you'll you, uh, make sure you get that sent over to me, <laughs> I'll uh, forward it. Justice. Will I pay him? Uh, I don't I just I'm paying him an experience. Mm, that's so long. <laughs> Lawyer in real life? Yeah, I'm a uh, cop parking mm, lot owner in real life. That's so long. So Okada. Mr. Steele, how are you? A lot better you. now. Oh, well, you got one dog, one fucking brute. And hey, hold. What, what are you doing? Nettie. Don't believe her, Nettie. Nettie She'll just Nettie, leave I you in I six months. Listen, I know what we have. Bridge, first of all, I she's lying. Mr. Crane. How's it going, Okada? 
Good, excellent work. Why is it? Why is it? So yeah, thank you. Okay. So, um, two things. Um, so got thrown out because of all this shit. Now I'm feeling pretty good about appealing this warrant. I'm also feeling, uh, so look, worst case scenario, because I like to deal in worst case scenarios. Mm -hmm. This hearing on this thing gets pushed out for an inordinate amount of time. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm at the, uh, warrant, the search warrant for all my properties regarding this case. Oh, the search warrant. Um, I'd like to. I, I think we should appeal that. I'll, I can send you a search warrant right now. Yeah, if you'll send that over, I can put a FOIA request in related to the uh, police reports for it, and I'll, Here's I'll the thing, though. take a look at it. It's it, Well, I'm assuming the it's the same police he report that's in the... Warrant. The same one that we were dealing with yeah. tonight, that 2-7, whatever. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm assuming, right? I mean, that's... But the pro they didn't submit uh, the report with the actual findings uh, this evening. And the reason they didn't do that is because they didn't have shit when they actually ran the warrant. You might want to... Uh... No, 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 no. That it was... That's... He served time for that arrest from the stuff that was in his, his house that time. He yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. What I'm, that's what I'm saying is we, we don't have the, uh, the report or the incident number from that. So I'll have to do a FOIA request to get that. Well, I think you only got a couple days, so you might want to appeal first. Because this was... It's coming up on it. Well, no, you, you're either suing civilly or you're going to appeal that the search was illegal. I don't know what you're, what you're planning on doing. What was the grounds for the um, appeal in the actual warrant? I believe it was somebody saw you with him and that was it. Yeah, I mean, if, well, here's the thing. If we ap just appeal it, then I just get. Uh, yeah, appealing, it, appealing it, you get. Well, it was like $60,000. Really. Yeah, you get the, you get the physical money back but uh, all of the possessions will be lost if we did a civil case on it instead we could ask for the money and some sort of punitive uh, damages against the state yeah um oh, well there's that yeah because they won't combine them so you have to do two separate cases either way so could, could we not appeal it and then go civil no you file it both at the same time oh, yeah we'd, we'd do both of them talking. yeah we'd have to file too late appeal. for civil though right uh no, because you're waiting out this case. They'll probably give you special circumstances. Yeah, we could ask them to extend the deadline since we had to wait on this one. Uh, it'd be something that I could I could put the FOIA request in this evening because that takes literally 37 seconds. Uh, and then I could start, uh, if you'll send me the warrant over, I could look uh, yeah, at starting yeah, to draft yeah. some shit tomorrow. I could point Mr. Crane in the right direction where everything is. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, you you know a bit about this, so do you guys uh, all want to triple team this? I, well, no, I'm basically retired again you done yeah okay well it's too bad oh god i liked uh like like telling no, no. in the courtroom yeah, like i said i do what i do to motivate people sometimes and i think we get enough attorneys running around right now okay It'd be good if that's we got uh some that's that's a, that's half the reason that i haven't been practicing as much as i should is because uh Every time that I go to go on the clock, it seems like there's like six attorneys. Well, after today's show, well, you you busy. you'll be probably getting a lot more work. <laughs> yeah, uh, I would, I would hope so. Anyways, if right. you check your uh, Teamspeak address there, you're at Teamspeak. There's the uh, warrant, and it's literally for the same thing. Me just being seen with Boba Bailey signed that. I'm not surprised after the ruling yesterday. Which was why I wasn't surprised of the ruling. Yeah, yesterday. see that bothers me right there. He signed on a separate case's warrant, but he's ruling on the same. You know, that I, I was wondering. You know, I was wondering about that too. I was wondering if you could maybe wiggle in some conflict there. Yeah, if I wasn't indisposed for the past two weeks, I probably would have brought that up in private and had like a chambers meeting about that. I did speak to Katya over one case where she was on a warrant. Mm. She recused herself, so it, it seemed odd. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to be involved. Well, uh, Mr. Okada, if you'd be uh, amenable to it, I could uh, just have you consulting on this one. Since you're mostly retired, you could just kind of show me the ropes on uh, where you think we should head with it. Well, Personally, I'm, I'm leaning towards the actual appeal and then the criminal, because that's, you know, the or the civil, because the civil is how you actually get money out of these things. Otherwise, you wind up like uh, <clears throat> other individuals in the city who get the uh, warrant overturned but get dick for it. 
Yeah, so most people will go into the appeal, then they won't want to won't do the civil because everything takes time, right? You get a schedule, you get to sit, you get to do the trial. So you're talking, mm. you know, Mr. Steele loves court. We all know that. So yeah. he's up for anything. But I know, you know, it's not easy. I, uh, I heard that. Six uh, times. For those I heard that yesterday. From, probably uh, probably someone testing record, their bot. Didn't you? They're about Me? to boot up their Fortnite stream. Yeah, uh, Mr. Steele. No, I think he's. I think he lost to Solomon once, didn't you? No. <laughs> he lost to Solomon. Don't lie. No, Solomon got a charge dropped. And he called it a win. Oh, I got. That's what he told me, so. Yeah, he got one charge to to get dropped, and I got five others to stick, and the guy went to prison. <laughs> All right, well. So if he wants to. Hey, if he wants to call that a win. Whatever. Hey, you're one of the few real officers here that actually most stuff stuck with. Everybody else usually gets destroyed in this because they won't spend two minutes talking to an attorney and learn a little bit about the legal system oh yeah the cry to the doj sucks about everything yeah i spent a lot of time on these steps talking to judges before i'd push things yeah that's what not many of these offices like to do <laughs> people don't realize a side effect of that is you know yeah you learn some legal stuff but also you learn how the judges think so when you have to go up against them you know how to present things right well i've always said to the people Knowing a judge matters. If you don't know the judge, you're fucked. It matters. You get Stanton, Stanton's looking for certain things. You get Coyote, you play the Coyote. You play the Labai, he's usually middle of the road. Artson, he's going to lean fucking prosecution side, but you can flip Artson with a good court case and a showing. I've always they thought the, the thing with Stanton is to not draw things out and just get to the point because he will lose interest and fall asleep. Well, he's he's like a squirrel, <laughs> so he's gonna jump on a nut, and that's where he's gonna stay for the rest of the day. Yeah. I've also said he's like a horse. You lead him to water, you let him drink, and you duck his fucking head in there, and you mm -hmm. let him fucking drown. Yep. Bailey, you lose. Ah, I don't know about Bailey, because like Bailey's not around enough for me to know. You know what I mean? Uh, after he signed the search warrant, that's all I needed to know. Well, kind of signed one uh... too against you. No, but this one's this is this has to be the worst search warrant that's ever been signed in the city's history. I thought it was pretty bad from what I had read originally, but it's been a while since I read it. I yeah, I will die on that hill. There has not been a worse search warrant signed. Oh, I've seen some bad ones. Trust me. You trust me. I've seen some real bad ones. Mm, I don't know. Being seen with a person. That's it. You're going to kick down someone's door. Going to their Listen, home? I've seen one sign that allegedly somebody else had seen somebody else do something that there may be this in here. Then the place gets searched and none of that shit's there. Okay, well, that's not great. <laughs> well, that's why that case never made it to court and everyone wonders why it never made it to court. Or everyone dropped out in the end because it was so bad when we went through it all. We were like, what the fuck are you idiots doing? And yeah, all hell broke loose. That's another thing. Um, I had a... Uh... I had uh, I had, I had Brian beat the shit out of me a few nights ago, maybe last night with a flashlight. Brian Knight? Yeah, yeah, and he never pressed any charges, so I was wondering if we could sue him in civil court. Do you have a witness? Uh, yeah. Was, or a I medical know, report. Yeah, I got no medical reports. Yeah, but if you don't have a witness to corroborate that with the medical report, it's going to be hard. Because yeah. he's going, I don't report. recall, I don't recall. He's very aloof with the way he speaks. Yeah. He's an asshole. All right. Well, I, I don't want to get too worried about it. There's a whole lot of other shit. So there's that. And then there's also this uh, this Hunter case that's uh, been filed as a, a mistrial. I was thinking about tackling that one myself. Yeah. But, uh, just so you know, I need to have a conversation with your father at some point about this fucking mishap. Here's the thing, though. I went to bench trial for that, which is court proceedings, correct? Everyone? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. This went higher than the courts. So, it's just... I'm very... I, I, I'm i very disturbed at what I have been told. Okay. So, we... Appealing what was ruled in your bench trial since then is probably the good path. Um... I guess I will go over it with Mr. 
I forgot your last name again, sir. So, no, that's fine. It's uh, Crane. Crane. That's what it was. I, know it's, I was about to say Splainer, and I was drawing a fucking blank. I'll inform him of what's going on with that, probably in private, Jordan. Um, I am aware that they. W I think they will hear the appeal of that. Well, here's the thing, too. All right, they. Because I'm I'm allowed to. It's not an appeal. I, well, yeah, I'm allowed to uh, get an appeal for the, the bench trial, Where's right? They have to. They have to listen to it. Oh, yeah. We all yeah I mean, the, the trick with an appeal is you've got to give them a reason to overturn the uh, yeah. original verdict. And well, well, the reason is the DA. Here's the thing, all right? I already know what the reason is. The DA didn't submit new evidence, yes. Yeah. The DA got a mistrial based on the grounds of ev uh, new evidence, but during my bench trial, submitted no new evidence, which is illegal. Well, they also, the evidence was given in a conversation private between the officer and the judge, but no opposing counsel there. Yeah. yeah, so the whole thing reeks. You guys work it out. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get together through uh, emails or in the city at some point and uh, talk about it. All Seems right. like you've got quite a few spinning plates, so uh, honestly, I would... Uh, Let's prioritize this warrant if we can, and let's prioritize uh, the upcoming hearing. Um, yeah, this whole mistrial thing that like just happened, so we got we got some time. Yeah, but I do get the paperwork but... up. Yeah, that's the easy part of it. No, I I know about all the details and stuff with that. I've had conversations on it, and I'm waiting to have some more. Um, mm. I'm hoping we can just sort it out with go out going to court in the end, and but I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, yeah, because I want all these goddamn charges dropped. Yeah, no, I agree. I like Coyote's ruling to me was the correct one. Yeah, I mean, it was, and then they're, I mean, they're, 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 they're they've broken the law to get their mistrial, is what they've done. And I talked to, I tell you what, I talked to Splainer about the whole thing. He didn't fucking like it. He didn't no, like that Hello I, did that. I talked to Splainer. Splainer doesn't like it at all. Well, so, Splinter uh, doesn't like it. What are the odds that we can work listen. something out outside of court? Just get a uh, an agreed motion pushed through so that it doesn't make a lot of noise for them. That's kind of what I suggest. Oh, that's what I'm, they just said. Okay, yeah. fair enough. But that's, I have brought up the issue. I've talked to Splainer. Me and him are kind of in an agreement. And then they were looking at what to do. And he wanted to have a conversation with the justices. But I don't know if he did that one. All right, well, I'm going to go get out of prison and then go to bed. I got a big day tomorrow. Yep. All right.